Hello. Uh, hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello. Welcome to our fake and gay video game. <laughs> Welcome to our fake and gay video game. How are you? <laughs> Uh, welcome to, welcome to Yukio. This is some, we got to doing some Yukio today. We're doing some, some DARPs today. Yeah, I should, I don't know why I've never done this, but I really should put like the five DARPs logo on this screen somewhere. You know what? What other ways do they have of knowing that it's five DARPs? Exactly. I'm going to do that right the fuck now. I'm doing it right now. I no never even noticed it wasn't here. No one's going to stop me. Not even Emerald. One who notoriously Why stops that? me every time. <laughs> I have never tried to stop you from doing anything. Oh, and now you're gaslighting, Emerald. We don't do gaslighting here. <laughs> we you don't. Know, Will. We don't do that here. <laughs> you know, Will. You should really come with a supply of cheese to match your vintage wine. Ew. <laughs> There we go. We can I, put the, we I have a there. bottle of sake. That's sort of a wine. It means quit your bitching. Weeb wine. I know what it means. There we go. But also, I don't have enough wine. There we go. How about that? It's, it's, it's cool right there. We can put it like right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. we need more logos. Hold on. We need another logo in here. Yeah, put another one in there. Uh, let's grab a different logo. Uh, we'll put in uh the dual academy logo yeah yeah this is for all the official documentation for dual academy uh put it right there we need one more logo i'll put one more logo in uh we need the other dual academy logo there we go this is for this is the compass this is the compass we'll put it like up here where compasses go yeah, we'll put over here. Yeah, yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not. Do you still have sector security? Yeah. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Hold on. We we should put the sector security. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you I mean yeah. we should always trust the cops? It's good. It's good to put it in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cops have never done anything wrong. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Where are you at with the security logo? Uh, where is the sector security logo? <laughs> <laughs> We've lost the cops. Where's my cop logo? Oh, there it is. There we go. Perfect. You made this thing fucking huge. How dare you? <gasps> Good. How dare you, Aaron? Blah. Oh my put God! It. It's a triangle. We'll put it. We'll put it here. You know what else is a triangle? What? Oh, you're yeah, right. The, you're right. The other, the other, the other, uh, the other logo is a triangle. You're correct. Hold on. I'm correct. Yeah, yeah. The other logo is a triangle. Let me get it. How did we get so many logos? Well, this one is the old sector security logo. Yeah. Oh. Um, or they rebranded. Yeah. To not have I, dual oh, academy. Okay, colors. I see why they rebranded. Uh, they had the. They had the three main colors. You don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> unless I do. <laughs> I don't do it unless I do. Yeah. Hello, Dual Academy logo. How are you doing? That's not my fault. <laughs> yeah, it came like that. All right. <laughs> At least with that one, it's like there's only a tiny bit of like one of the colors, but it's still kind of an eyesore in my opinion. Yeah. I still think that they could have used like a different color and don't use green instead of yellow because it's just like oh cool look it's rgb <laughs> he's like purple or something i don't know or white or like fucking black or 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 like 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 orange or something you know orange yeah well here let's put the hero signal in yeah 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 there we are right up there do we have enough branding? Hey guys, think, is this good branding? I think this is pretty good. Mm, only pretty good? You're right. We have to do one more. Uh, I know exactly which one. We need to put in the, the Kingdom Hearts games uh, logo. You're right. 
Uh, da, 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 da. You are a correct person. Own the Brotherhood B. You're also correct. I wish I knew where that was. <laughs> oh no. Don't tell me. There we go. There we are. Put it right there. Because it makes so much sense to be in the center of the screen. Hold on. I think I know how to get the how to get the other one. Uh it's 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 somewhere in here, I think. It's somewhere in in this section. This is very important, guys. Yeah. This is very important. We have to get the Brotherhood B. Yeah, yeah. Anybody says it isn't important, I'll break your legs. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called breakthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, I'm breaking whoa, through it, your legs. Whoa, 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 I didn't say anything. Get away from my legs. I have to break someone's legs. Calm down and take one for the team. <laughs> uh, it's always my legs. Okay. What do you mean? It's always my legs. Both of your they guys always are, break my legs. Both of your guys' legs are so are so are so easy because they've already been broken so many times before. <laughs> yeah, they just bend now. Yeah. <laughs> you need hardly any effort anymore. You know what? I feel like I feel like we have to leave the past in the past. We're gonna get rid of the other sector security logo for this one. <clears throat> Leave the past in the past, as I always say. Yeah. I say that all the time. Anyway, here's the Brotherhood logo from the, from the past. <laughs> Perfect. Hooray. We Fun did it. Fact. Fun fact, it was a G Fuel of the day you first said that. Yeah. We all believe that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Every one of us. Here, uh, D A H K H D A. There's it's like a, maybe an M in, in there. Five uh, D A R P S. Yeah. You can figure out a word with all of those letters. You win. That number. <laughs> if you can figure out, we've hidden. We've hidden the title of the next Summoner's Network roleplay in the screen right now. <laughs> if you can, if you can word jumble it up, you'll you'll figure it out. Anyway, we're leaving now. <laughs> we totally did all this, all this completely purposefully, and we're we're leaving now. We're we're going over here. Who wants to tell me what happened last time? <laughs> So anyway, last time in 5D's Dual Academy, Dual Academy, Sector Security, Sector Security, Kingdom Hearts, Hero <laughs> Signal, <laughs> uh, fucking the other one, I already forgot. Uh, Brotherhood. Break <laughs> that's, that's true. That's true. We need to get a new B for Brotherhood. Yeah, we need another B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they did find the the breakthrough one, and that's what they based it on. But yeah, but they probably had to change it. <laughs> yeah, they 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 innovated. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make a purple one while you're doing that. <laughs> so last last time, what I mean, not last time, but last time before last time. Uh, I'm sure you can keep up the fact that there's not two landing storylines. Anyway, so before before last session. Team A is wakes up finding and missing one one Gregor. He's gone. And but he didn't think he'd get this far, to be quite honest. He didn't think he'd actually have to kill someone. <laughs> but the team has to put their heads together and be like, alright. Where exactly would he have gone? And they figure, you know, maybe we'll I mean, we can't really just chase around. Why don't we go ask? Let's go, let's go look around. Maybe we can ask around, we can ask the principal. And then, you know, the team goes looking around. And, uh, our, I can't call them rich. It's true, <laughs> but I can't call them rich. <laughs> They'd hurt me if I did. <laughs> our friends Talison and Caitlin go all the way to the top and talk to the, to the principal, the principal. And uh, the principal's not there because it's a Sunday. It's uh, it's a free day. However, there is one person around: the devil from the eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and the devil from the eyeball goes listen i don't know man there used to be more of these like these like weird little gold structures this is here i just want you to know that for later it's not really useful in what's gonna happen right now but but just keep that one in your back for later anyway i'm gonna go to sleep now and then Talison goes, all right, that's information that is in my head now. Uh, maybe one day I'll tell the rest of my friends that I'm hearing movies. And he does, he, does, he tells Caitlin that he's hearing the evil from the eyeball. <laughs> I'm going to remove more syllables the more I say it. <laughs> the duh from the buh. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of the team, uh, they get, they, Lord, they get fucking close. Uh... They eventually narrow it down to trying to look near the card shop. Uh, they look at the card shop, but everything's being cleaned up. Uh, James is on, a, is, on a, is on a weekend vacation, so he's not available for Comet. And the team goes, well, guess we'll go find Price directly and see what the fuck he was doing. And then the team leaves. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the team leaves. They go And then away. something happens last session, which I told you, but apparently we're doing it like parallel so whenever those guys show back up i'll let you know i'm sure that won't get com needlessly complicated what happened anyway what happened, what happened with with you what happened with uh with, with but yeah back in team g <laughs> <laughs> there is only one gregor uh <laughs> gregor tumbles over a fucking hill and nearly dies uh and he is saved by the mushroom shaman or the ushroom almond <laughs> Haman? I shouldn't be getting that close to Hamas. Anyway, the point is, it's... The mushroom's right here. The mushroom's alive, actually. And this is its vibe spot. And thanks to this mushroom just being there, Gregor has to died horribly. Great for us. So, he wakes up, talks to the mushroom a bit, and he goes, listen. You know... This has happened at least once before. Someone has fallen out of the sky, a human. Uh, this place is pretty dangerous right now for humans because there's two factions and they don't get along very well. And also there's all these crystals that if you touch and you're a spirit, they just they just look you in and you're just stuck there. So, you know, it's a pretty it's pretty huge right now to not be a spirit because they can actually like move and break it. Yeah. And you know, it's like over there in the area with all of the lights that say go this way is a group of elves that uh that are they have they just kind of like strict I don't know, martial order, and they live by this lake, and they, uh, they, they, they're kind of, you know, very set on their ways, but, you know, I mean, there's other people around there, so that's a pretty good place to start. And in the other way, it's a, it's a modern technological area, and they, they're, they believe that you should be free to do what you want. However, <laughs> it is, a uh, <laughs> me! <laughs> I made the Bi Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that the best way to represent the Brotherhood is to make them bisexual. <laughs> we should add a, a single, like, lesbian colored stripe in the middle. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. To represent Briska. Oh <laughs> <laughs> just in the very center. <laughs> yeah, just we, we replace the crack for, like, a, like a lesbian, like, the lesbian colors, and then. And then that keeps it B. Anyway. Uh, you know, after hearing this information, he goes, all right, I'll leave it to Lux. Lux is this way. And then starts going over to the elf area. He goes to the elf area. There's a line. Uh, notable things. Uh, we see one dark. He's alive. Good for him. Uh, he's apparently not passing his driving test, though, even though he is allowed <laughs> and he can. <laughs> even though he's allowed. <laughs> They won't let him cross the big pair into the shadow world because apparently he's too special for it, even though it's his entire his entire thing. He's very upset about this. Also, there's a crocodile and he, he didn't have a very good time. Yeah. Uh, but in the line while they're going there, there is uh, I swear to God, I kid I kid you the fuck not. It's just mystical elf in the line, minding her business. And after her complaints about the line like three times, she goes, you know what? I like your vibe. <laughs> And he just grabs his hand, you which turns his vibes. brain off, and, it <laughs> and he goes into sip mode. Uh, at which point, you know, she takes her further in. Also, these guys apparently are people who have learned to turn into fucking copy knights or something. That shit's horrifying. Like, it's, it's cool, but when you think about it, it's a little horrifying. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, deeper in, here's here's the asshole. Here's the castle. Uh, they go in. They talk a little bit with Elf Judge, who is here. He's pretty cool. I think he's cool. And he goes, "Listen, I know you're not from here. Uh, don't do anything weird or rash, please." <laughs> um, <laughs> I know, gonna things see some stuff. I know things are different here, but come on. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I know things are going to be different for you. You're going to see jail people. Please don't stage a breakout and start hitting bases and shit. Just, like, behave, please. And you're going to go, okay. <laughs> Jay! What? what I just said? I mean, there nothing said anything about me having a boner, all right? You said that, not me. First of all, he didn't say anything that it wasn't allowed. Second of all, I'm not having it, so leave me alone. Anyway, we look further in. Here's the crystal breaking area slash dual area. Gail is here. Good for her. I'm glad that she's moved out in into this area now. Uh, they talk a little. Uh, successfully, uh, we are finding out that, yeah, first of all, Gail can actually break these. Uh... I, I mean, yeah, she was. She is kind of like half a spirit, but it's not like like fully, fully a spirit. So it's fine. It's fine. We can probably help later or not. Who knows? Uh, so we go over. We keep moving. Here's the jail area. People are jailed here. Uh, in in no uncertain order, we have a whole bunch of uh, of psycho soldiers and and Kirby, and just straight up Kirby, <laughs> uh, mystical elves, the quote unquote evil sister. Which is just her again, but uh, of of a different racial color. It's a really weird thing that they did <laughs> the moment that they saw her. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's always the black elf that gets arrested. Yeah, I, literally, like, <laughs> literally, they were just like, "Oh, I guess you're black. That's the evil one." <laughs> I'm, it's, I'm glad they nailed it because it was a 50 50 that would have looked really bad if they were I'm wrong. I'm just saying that the dark elf was just upset that there was this fucking white boy eating their fucking food. <laughs> I left my cheese on the table and some white boy showed up. Anyway, uh, there's also, uh, here's the fucking trifecta of uh, satellite members who don't like each other. Here they are keeping like a straight five foot like COVID distance from each other. Uh, meanwhile, there's Park. Don't worry about that. And uh, <laughs> and the raw student that came in here, who was very distressed, and we did not make it better. Uh, on this side, we have also in I mean literally the same order, but also in no certain order of, of importance. Uh, and Rail, uh, also just here's Flelf. Uh, <laughs> We don't know why they're jailed here. They don't like it. They want to break out. Wait, so, they so, also have so, who, so who's this? Emerald. That's, that's, that's Emerald. Yeah, I know that's crazy. But, but, <laughs> but, but Emerald, but Emerald is, is, is other person though. It would have been really weird if we just did like another fucking group of like solo sessions again. So, you know, oh my goodness. What? That's crazy. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm changing. I'm not changing any, I'm, I'm not, doesn't. Okay. No, hold on. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's so I'm, weird. I'm waiting. All right, let so me know weird when you're and crazy. Yeah, Which okay. One is it? <laughs> <laughs> let me know. I did it. <laughs> Hello. Yes, it is I. It is I, him. <laughs> it is I, hidden baby. <laughs> it is I, baby. Did somebody say him? <laughs> All right, you can you can keep going now. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, now that you're done doing that. <laughs> uh, uh, here's Jacqueline. She's first of all a freak, second of all a lesbian, which is already meeting all the steps for a Lily character. <laughs> and wait, it's a time, Lily she's... character. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, you're adding them. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm I understand. The thing. Yeah, I'm the thing I in. understand. You're adding them in. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, she at some point seems to have gotten into some kind of weird shit that made her have a claw hand and she really doesn't like it. And also she's Christian, kind of. I don't know <laughs> why. <laughs> there she is. Transparent. I need to I need to fix uh Flelfs because he's just full 
full image, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he can have legs. He can have legs, I suppose. You should look at his wide, wide armored legs. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, there's uh, Adira, who is first of all a furry, uh, yes. and second of all for the Red Desert, uh, forever. Let you let you be reminded. Oh, wait, uh, I can't change these because I don't have the best one for you. Keep going. Uh, they're being currently played by Aaron. What? I don't know why I said currently. Like, we're going to shoot you we're and then replace him. you. We're going to shoot him. <laughs> no. Like, I don't know why I said, like, it's a CIA plot. But, yeah, currently it is being It's a CIA by Aaron. plot. <laughs> don't stop yelling it. <laughs> <laughs> you want my bot get in here and shoot Aaron? You know? Yeah, we got them all. And you know, compared to everyone else, sometimes she's allowed to like work jobs and do other stuff, and then they put her back in here. Things are going, you know, relatively okay. I mean, she's still in jail, but you know, things could be worse. <laughs> uh, and meanwhile, we have first of all the most important character that no one can see: Mushroom Man. Number, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> yeah, there he is. He's number one, baby. Baby. Uh, why, why, why are you he's... calling him that for? He's, he's, that's, that's not his name. I'm just saying he's number one. <laughs> you said that. I just. <laughs> <laughs> he was number one. He was number one. <laughs> <laughs> and on the other side, we have. Uh... <laughs> oh, water self. Um, <laughs> who can teleport based on horny <laughs> level, it <laughs> seems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she comes she she comes from uh the area where judgment is which is the casino which was the other area uh and she's very normal as you can see my my perfect world is to be as far away from her and the other woman as specifically far as possible thank god she's over in that she, she apparently worships or is cool with or <clears throat> slash the spiral serpent so I mean good for her. Um I feel like we should get a restraining order, but that's fine. So after that, we talk a little bit with Mystical Elf and evil Mystical Elf is just her but black skin. <laughs> and you know, we learned well, really, it's not that it's not like she's like, okay, so we were both one person at one point, right? Mm. We were both mystical elf, and then when we touch one of those crystals. And then suddenly there was two of us, and it was me and 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 the evil part. And for some reason, my evil part was black, and they jailed her. You know, I you don't really well, they're, control they're, they're, they're evil thinking, draw, all right? Like that's not. They're thinking it's an evil part. Yeah. It's, but it, but it's in not... reality, it's just another part. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like slash evil part, and it's like over here, and they're like, well, we'll lock you over there. The false one goes in the box. And it's like, it's really weird that, it, you know, again, it's really weird that she's black, but they didn't really they just decide how they were born. <laughs> we blame Cole for that one. And... Damn it, Cole. <laughs> Why do you have to make them black? <laughs> <laughs> it's all your fault. Cole was just like, I think I should add some representation. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you put her in what? <laughs> You what? You what? <laughs> yeah, it's she was supposed to be a kind of not the evil one. What the fuck's wrong with you? It's okay. We need we need a third we need a third one uh to come in. Is she that, Latina? We need a third one to come in and she's just white. <laughs> Cause this one's blue. <laughs> I like the idea that the white is like the neutral. Go white color. girl, go. <laughs> <laughs> what if we made her gray? <laughs> Crap's like, wait, what? <laughs> you go make a white girl immediately. We need a third one to cancel out the Triforce. <laughs> the only way we can fix this is by having it a white woman. <laughs> Could we make her like Asian or make her white? <laughs> Anyway, uh, having a conversation uh, regarding this. Mystical the, snow take... elf. <laughs> Sorry. Lord in heaven. 
Judge Elves shows up again and goes, Okay, thanks for not having a hard one and trying to absolutely kill everyone here. We really appreciate the fact that you didn't do that. And it's like, the bar is very low for you, man, but you're welcome. Uh, and then, you know, the question is posited. You guys seem to be having some issues. Uh, you seem to need someone from Judge Man's area to figure out if, you know, this uh, other counterpart of her, which for some reason we're calling evil and is black, is <laughs> <laughs> is actually oh like evil or actually part of her. But we don't currently like each other right now. What if I go over there, maybe with some people, and we bring that person over here as some kind of like ambassador or something, and we figure it out. And it's what? okay, we'll think about that later. You can lay down in, in Mystical Elves' room, which is currently unoccupied, because one of them's in jail. So, you know, they take him over to this room and sit him on the casting couch, and <laughs> that's that's literally where we and ended up. And they're both up. just holding his hands as he's just staring <laughs> off blankly <laughs> into space. I need to stay strong for my wife and kids at home. <laughs> Ah, that was good. That was pretty good. Uh, before we move on, though, there was a little bit of something else that happened. I mean, there was a week that that was going down. So, uh, uh, Emerald, what happened last game? <laughs> oh, thank God, we're correcting the timelines. Emerald. So, what ha happened last game mm -hmm. is very simple. After we couldn't, you know after we just looked around the campus for like what maybe like 30 minutes we couldn't really find anything we decided to like leave campus because this was a good idea i don't know who suggested it but the, the but that is why we left the, the the campus we all we got our stuff we promised that we wouldn't buy cards off campus or anything <laughs> like that <laughs> that's <you>? foreshadowing <laughs> foreshadowing is a useful tool and because we're like hmm where would Mr. Fuckface go? Well, obviously he would go to the, the rich section of the city because that's where he, he should be living. And so we go there and we're like, hmm. <laughs> Look Hello, at Hello, I am, I am art, Kyle sorry. from Life. Oh. Yeah, the art's great. Gambler we from another this. world. <laughs> I really like this one. This I, I like it. Yeah. It's very good. So we arrive after we we paid like the, the the fee to get up to the taxi or whatever the fuck happened with that we 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 arrived we went in and we're like hmm hello i'm talison blythe they're like talison blythe hello we know who you are that's awesome <laughs> oh but your your key's not working that's weird why is your why is my key not working mm -hmm. and it's like well and through them, we're like, hmm, well, we were trying to find a price and through some rolls and talking, we were able to find that. The, oh, he has he hasn't been up here in a while. It would have been a very place. long while. And that's weird. His his property has been up here for so fucking long and that despite him probably still paying payments on his house, they've decided that now is the time to uh, vacate his premises and let people auction for it, I guess. Or I guess he probably wasn't paying payments is the issue there. Yeah. And we're like, and there's not really much there, just some cards and junk. Not much at all, really. Barely lived in. Grass overgrown is crazy. And we're like, hmm, you know what, guys? Let, let, let's, 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 I know we took his dual together. thong, but let's take his house. Let's take his house. <laughs> I mean, it's already being foreclosed on, and it's going to be auctioned <laughs> off. Like, we're on a fucking episode of fucking, what the fuck's that show called? Property Wars? <laughs> I really do like that we have seen him lose and now we're going to dig to take <laughs> anything we can from him for no conceivable reason. <laughs> I mean, it's free shit that we're gonna get. It's by not a... free. <laughs> Listen, we're objectively I... paying for it. Now you myself and probably other people are gonna be like, we're gonna just put, try to put as much money together to grab this thing. <laughs> are we gonna have a hype funny. house? We're gonna have a, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Yes. Also, we could potentially get other people who don't have keys to have access to the upper city. Yeah. Just in case By anything happens probably... here in the upper city, who knows? Who knows if anything will actually happen up here? Who knows? 
So we couldn't go, we didn't really go in, but we found out that, oh, he had other places around the city, and we decided the closest one was obviously the one in the eclipse, and they were like, oh, don't go there. Like, yeah, we won't go there, don't worry. We're fucking going there immediately. <laughs> Uh, you two, you two stand out too much in your clothing. We're gonna get you do clothing. Dress poor. Dress poor and in poor chic. So we get to the underground. We get to the uh, the the eclipse. We walk around. We see. Oh, one side has some cops. The other side has some shadow riders. <laughs> they're the shadow rider gang. Yeah, they're just they're fine. It actually was fun because yeah, they're, like, they're like vigilantes for justice. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's like it's like Towson's <laughs> Towson's been here for a while, it seems, apparently, from from everything he knows and how he acts down here. And he realized that, hey, don't fucking trust the cops down here. We're going to go <laughs> past the Shadow Riders because as long as we leave them alone, they'll leave us alone. And then what a cost just like police will. One of my favorite comments in the last episode was somebody going, Shadow Riders, good guy, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> it's funny. You see, they they decided that they were going to take a page out of our books because we were gone, so they can make a better name for themselves before we get back. Uh, yeah, yeah. So people will trust them over us. I mean, they weren't really taking a page out of us. The Brotherhood was kind of insane for like the first thirty <laughs> sessions, and then they figure their shit out. I mean, yeah. Plan for a gang to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and while Towson told everyone that we should just walk by them, not interact, they won't bother us, we won't bother them, Caitlin decides to go full horny mode and uh, talk to the woman. It wasn't full horny, I had a nice conversation. With <laughs> woman in biker party. outfit! <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I get it. A nice conversation. <laughs> it was a very nice conversation. We found out, oh, hey, the Shadow Riders have been working with it Steel. Wasn't Full horny, it was at least an awuga though. Awuga! <laughs> a singular awuga. <laughs> well, I'll accept that, I guess. Or maybe even a double awuga, but anyway. And then her eyes came out of her sockets to the, the cartoon heart thing that they do. Mm hmm, mm hmm. We found out the information from her that the Shadow Riders have been working with Steel. Uh, a certain person in Towson seems to know very well. And that they're trying to find out who in this building uh, uh, information from them, apparently, because there's like a person from the satellite in this building, I guess. And they're just trying to figure out a way to get in there to get them because they just want to ask some questions. They just want to talk. They just want to talk. They just want to talk. As far as we know. And then we get over to Steel's and Towson realizes, hey, it's unlocked. The, the key's not in its hiding spot. Steel has to be in. And so we go, so we lift up the, 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 the gate, go in, and we, we hear one of my best friends in the <laughs> world, Angelo. <laughs> Meet Angelo, everyone. The Valley baby! <laughs> Angelo! <laughs> I wish we knew about your gay lover sooner. <laughs> I just love him so much. He's such, he has such good art. <laughs> She really is very shaped. Rich people seem to have a thing for rat people. <laughs> what did I say? We like the uh, as the exotic flair of the rats. You just don't like it because I'm short. Anyway. <laughs> so, so this is Angel, he's the slimy huckster who has information and items for sale. And he tells us, hey, steel packed up shop and left. No, he didn't even say how. Didn't see. Didn't say why. He just did it. Surprising everyone. It's very annoying. Cause this is, this, is, this is my boy. My stuff. I was gonna buy more things from him, but it's fine. Instead, we bought cards from a secret, uh, a premium, uh, 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 initial uh, review pack of uh, the new pack that's coming out for four thousand. 3,500. Such a steal. It's such a, it's such such a steal, steal, honestly. It's definitely yeah, not it was price, stolen. It's pr definitely not a price that is above market value. It's such a steal, though. He, he got yeah. you guys them early, is what happened. We bought I, I do like that we are now adding more reality to it. We're adding actual <laughs> Yu Gi Oh card prices. <laughs> yeah. 
And and he they told us that all this thirty five dollars per pack. <laughs> that box is eighty dollars on eBay, brother. It's a free sample of the pack. It's pretty nice cards, I guess. But he told us that one of them has uh, could could have the the legendary uh, a, a new print of the legendary blue eye fight dragon. And so we've proceeded to spend as much money as physically possible <laughs> taking out from mostly the one pack that he had hidden under the table. And we have not, in fact, gotten another Blue Eyes White Dragon. You guys spent so much. cards, though. I want to do Satellite. It's nice. I like, I like my spaceships. My starships, I need more. I need all of them. I need every starship. Give them to me, chat. Give, give me the money for more starships. <laughs> <laughs> And so after we bought the cards and he had a, a, a box set up with a little thing on it that said, hey, to the, the Academy, to the Slifers, 50K if you fuck up, basically. It's on the, the thing. And so he's like, hey, we, we got to know where Price is, though. And then he's like, oh, yeah, Price, he's my neighbor. Convenient. I know. I hate him. I hate him. He's a, he's a No one fucking likes this guy. <laughs> He, no keeps, he keeps telling him. he keeps giving him noise complaints. I, I don't you, you think I'm loud. I'm not very loud I can be loud if he wants me to be loud I can show him <laughs> So we go to Angelo's home and as we walk in uh, Samurai and Benny notice Gregor on the couch with with two hot elf babes <laughs> <laughs> Living the good life, apparently. <laughs> but then they blink and it goes away. As, as Angelo tells us, oh, hey, I've been seeing those ghosts. They're weird. The implication he's been psyching, having psyching visions of Gregor for like three days is fucked. <laughs> I told you he has more game than you. <laughs> and, and yeah, that's right. He's been seeing visions of this dude for days now, apparently, even though he only just got lost in the in the other world now that we know completely leaves in the other world this whole time for just like getting haunted by the word sleep as ghosts there's this little mexican boy following me around <laughs> and also his cheese disappeared my cheese <laughs> also i'd like to i'd like to apologize about the pronunciation i did for for the cheese last game nobody called me out on it so all of you uh also are are bad for it you're complicit uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's part yeah, of the cheese, so you know. <laughs> Nobody fucking called me out, but I do. I do want to want to apologize. Yeah, the Parmesan. Yeah. <laughs> I called it Parmigiano Romano, but it was Parmigiano Reggiano. Mm -hmm. Actually, the cheese keeps disappearing, and he's spending too much money on cheese now. It's just cheese. Cheese is fucking expensive in wheels, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. It's... Why would he get a wheel? I mean, I get it. If you can, if you don't, why how the to get fuck a wheel wouldn't I get a wheel of cheese? What you're gonna go to the grocery store, pick you up a exactly. a, 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 punk, a, a pack of that pre-shredded shit? Honestly, I understand him. If he has the ability to get a fucking wheel of cheese in this world, I do not blame him for getting. It. They call him the I... white delight. I've been learning how to make cheese, so I, I get it. And so we especially Parmigiano Reggiano. Hold on, let me let me tell let me let me let me, go, <laughs> let me just randomly go and check uh, a price for a wheel of Parmigiano Reggiano. Da, 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 da. Uh, if you want to get a wheel of Parmigiano Reggiano, first thing that shows up two thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Lord in heaven. So I put like another zero after that for the this. So for the yeah, price. I'm making my own. <laughs> but he can't call it Parmesan or Vagianiano though, because it's not made in that part of Italy. Yeah, you can't you can't call it that unless you get it from there. That's why he imports that shit. He can <laughs> import it. He all the money that we just spent on cards, he's probably gonna buy. It's going right back to Neo Italy. It's going to one. It's going to one wheel of cheese, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame him. <laughs> it's incredible that he can get that from him in this place. I got connections. I got connections, Tally. <laughs> it's true. That's why I like him. Not a single person in this town moves him out without me sniffing him out. Mm hmm. Especially the cheese market. <laughs> it's like the, it's like the fucking the stinky cheese market in the fucking Chip and Dale movie that they made recently. Everybody calls me a rat. I tell them thank you. I love cheese. 
<laughs> oh. This cheesy situation uh, over and done with. Uh, we we we. I thought that are... was funny. Good job, everyone. <laughs> it is funny. Yes. We we. Uh, Gregor, not Gregor. Uh, Benny puts the cards that he bought for Gregor on the p table with a note on it for uh, for potentially potentially it somehow magically making its way to Gregor because things were disappearing and we look away and we look back and it's gone. Also, a wheel of, also a wheel of cheese. Also, another wheel of cheese. <laughs> I feel bad for him. He's 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 about to spend a a a, a, a fortune on another wheel of cheese. Hey, don't you I don't don't you guys worry. I love buying cheese. <laughs> I don't even like eating it. I'm just like, like buying it. You see, if 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 he were a demon in Zelda, his vice would be cheese. If there's, so, if there's something I love more than more than eating cheese, it's buying it. <laughs> that way, nobody else can have it. You know how good it. it feels to show up to a store and say. Drop two thousand dollars worth of cheese. Every time I go to the store and I buy me some cheese from the import store, I, I, I realize every wheel of cheese I buy can never be used against me. It's true. <laughs> how can they? How can they tell say that you're money laundry when you're just buying cheese? It's like walking out of an Apple store. It feels great and everyone knows it. Besides, it's uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe I gave you guys a three thousand dollar favor. Maybe you give me a three thousand dollar favor down the road. <laughs> we did in fact buy several card packs from Stan, <laughs> by the way. With the idea that we have a glitch in our dual disc that gives us more money randomly. Yeah, it's almost like it's almost like helping out kids who have an infinite money glitch is a good idea for me. <laughs> <laughs> keeping it small, brother, keeping it small. <laughs> Dab me up, brother. <laughs> Yeah, what happened when you got there? I, I, like you, you checked out like, other rooms yeah. as well, right? We checked out other rooms. We we decided to go over to Price's <clears throat> place to see if he was in and or to, to walk inside because, you know, Towson just happens to have the ultimate key card. A bit of a skeleton key, as it, if it were. Uh, Radius is just the best card in the, in the world. You can <laughs> open up so many doors. And, well, uh, Karibo can send emails, so. <laughs> and Benny and and I think Kate could feel some kind of like weird spiritual who's a what since when he used it. And as I know from how this card works, that uh, we have a little bit of time in here without alarms going off or anything if we leave before then. And we looked around a little bit, didn't really find much of anything really. And then the idea came that oh hey. We should go check out the pyramid because that's where uh, uh, a, a man that is a very suspicious man is at. Uh, could he be Judge Man? We don't know. That's what they apparently call him, I think. I think it was his nickname or something or other. I can't remember sp the specifics there. And so we decided to go to the pyramid that's been changed from a prison to a fucking casino. Where apparently our, our boy Gregor is really fucking hated there for some reason. And, uh, we were told, hey, uh, this guy is no good. Don't go near him. Angelo says he's, he's, a, da he's, a, he's a really wanted man in, in the Eclipse. Even though he's already served his time. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. And I believe that should be everything that happened last time. Nice job. Nice job. I, 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 appreci I appreciate the both of you doing your best. Very cool. Uh, while we have your attention, there's also one other thing that happened last game, and that was for some reason some of the cards were being were being off, were being weird. We fixed it. All the players can see all the cards now. Luckily, there was a somewhat easy fix for that. It's very good. Um, <clears throat> just as a reminder, you guys do not currently have the cards you guys drew. Those cards are currently in transit to uh to dual academy so if you guys do put them in your decks you can uh but if uh it, it, there'll be there'll be inconsistencies um <laughs> canon inconsistency baby if you've already done it don't worry about it but it is it is <laughs> technically those cards are going to get to you uh in uh in like a day mm -hmm. that being said i'm gonna give a little, a little, a uh, little, 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 little destiny draws. I'm gonna give a couple destiny draws. Never mind. You are you both. I think both of you are. No, you're not maxed out. 
I'm gonna Thunder. give two destiny draws. Talisman. <gasps> Thank you. No problem, Talisman. No problem. Yeah. No I needed problem. them for drawing my cards. And I'm gonna give two reroll tokens to Gregor. There you go, Gregor. Two whole reroll. Yeah. Thank you guys for the recaps. Much appreciated. Gregor. What? You're gonna be resting for the night. I'd like to know, while you are sitting here between the two elves, is there anything you'd like to speak to them or talk to them about for the night? Or would you like to run away from them as soon as possible? Uh, uh, and, 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 no! And go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to just have them rest in a while and sit here. I'm never getting this again. I gotta, I gotta take it while I can. <laughs> You don't have to have any conversations if you don't want to, but do you have anything in particular you'd like to ask them about this place or ask them about what's going around uh, before we move on to the next day? Everything that, that I had thought about was responded before, so I don't have anything immediately sticking out. You have the rest of the night then with um, uh, the two the two elves uh, as they are uh, just having some small talk with you. They ask you a little bit about your world since they have not been there. Uh, they ask you about uh, about the uh, about the cities. They ask you, uh, is there really is there really uh, buildings that stretch all the way up to the sky? Is there like all, all these different stuff? They, yeah, ask kind you, of. <laughs> they ask you about uh, about all these things. Uh, they uh, they are very curious about the fact that you live in a place that is not surrounded by a forest. <laughs> In fact, on the outside I mean, of your city, it's kind of similar that I never see the sun, so you know. Uh, in fact, on the other side of, of of your city, around your city, literally is a desert, essentially, just like them. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> but they do uh, hang out with you uh, most of the time. Uh, you do feel that they are uh, they're very hands on. Uh, what I mean by that is every chance they do have, they do grab your hand. <laughs> I would like for you, uh, upon speaking to them and having your hand grabbed as many times as it has, uh, go ahead and roll me for your uh, willpower, please. And you know, I'm glad that we both agreed on that. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's roll. Uh, That's pretty that's good. good. Yeah, it is. That's pretty good. You feel that as this is going on throughout the night, uh, that you are slowly feeling that whatever kind of energy you've been feeling from these guys, it sort of appears to be moving. Every time you touch their hand, you feel uh, almost like a small, non, non explosive, but sort of a small jolt from their, uh, from their touch. And you do feel as if whatever they're doing, they are somewhat moving some of their energy into you. So you get with an unnat 20, you just sort of understand that. Yeah. Uh, you can you can uh, uh, either just accept that you can you can bring that up, but they appear to be moving some of their energy into you throughout the night. See, this is not something that they teach you in the school of life. What do you do if women are putting things into you? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm ten, I stop pegging, and that's up to you. Like, this is where, like, the gender inequality really shows through. If humans start putting things into you, you're gonna get the fuck out of there immediately. I didn't know you were gonna peg me. I didn't know it was on the table. Let's go. <laughs> this is why switches are the victors in every scenario. That's right. <laughs> Say, not, a, not, a, not to interrupt what I was going on here, but, uh... Mm -hmm. There's some kind of, like... I mean, maybe you know. I don't really know. There's a, some kind of magic thing I feel. I keep feeling whenever we, we touch. Oh, yes. That is my power. Oh, well, well what kind of powers? Just, I, had just kinda like... it, I had used it with you previously, if you remember, whenever you were hurting. Oh, yeah. I remember that you, like, uh, like killed me up. Yes. I'm not doing anything like that because I do believe that whatever your physical problems are will be aided by sleep. However, I can tell that you have a spiritual imbalance in you. A spiritual and what? A spiritual imbalance. I'm not falling like I like what I was born different or. You find the the other one speaks up. 
it is a somewhat difficult uh, to understand at first, but a um, something about you physically seems to be draining spiritual energy about you. We don't entirely understand why, but in order to survive in this place, you would need to have spiritual energy of your own. Otherwise, you'll be taken advantage of by many spirits who are around you. Hmm, I guess I would have showed up. Do it I still have seem like, as if there's the any weird... problems with you, but at the at the same time, we wanted to make sure that you were safe. Do I still have like the bio ban on or something? Uh, you do not. Well, did you ever take it off? I mean, I guess I did it. I don't know. <laughs> you you do have it. Uh, you took it off um, during the yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's it's you on you. To. You you because uh, you never went you never went back to your dorm. It's on you, but it's not it's not on. You don't have it uh, yeah. uh, on your arm. Yeah. Imagine it's like in your belt loop or something. Yeah, it's like in my belt. <laughs> yeah. Well, the last thing that I knew that was kind of draining stuff was this little this little thing here. And it's going to pull out the, the little, little band. Hmm. But I don't know if it's the thing doing it or I'm not really kind of knowledgeable on this. <sighs> Do you mind if we look at that? Oh, sure thing. I don't like it anyway. You see Mystical Elf reach out for it as they do. They sort of back away uh, and they're just like, perhaps my other self would like to look at it. The dark elf looks to it, reaches out, <laughs> reaches their hands back. Hmm. That is an interesting item you have. I'm not following. I know it's interesting, but well, that kind of interesting. It seems to be connected to a great spirit of some kind. Oh, what? Hmm. I mean, I guess we kind of figured maybe, but I didn't, you know, it was kind of like a, a hypothetical. Dark Elf, for a moment, hesitates, but then reaches out and, and does grab it from your belt loop. Uh, as they bring it to themselves, they look it over. Hmm. It appears that, yes, whatever this is, is connected to a great spirit. I am not sure which one. One moment. I'm going to roll for them. Just going to Skype call it. <laughs> It does not appear to be anything that I have a lot of understanding of, but it is a similar issue, seemingly a similar power that I've recognized. Perhaps it is something connected to the higher plane or the lower plane. Hmm. At that point, it could be anything between below and above. It is very interesting that it is connected to either of them in general, since the elemental planes have been separated from them for so long. Only recently has the forest felt the uh, small presence of the lower plane of the lower planes. Oh uh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't get like reception here or anything. Hmm. I believe it to be an old power, but I'm not entirely sure much else. And my uh. other self doesn't seem to be able to doesn't seem to be able to grasp it. They hand it back to you. It is a dangerous item, but it doesn't seem to be very dangerous if you do not have it upon you. No, I'll make sure to keep doing that then. Still doesn't answer the whole like, like chemical, like imbalance, like my humor is being all fucked up. Oh, maybe it's the dog. Oh, Yo, shit, there's a dog? Dog of an altered world. Other dogs are also barking. There's more dogs in here? I hate them. Oh, I'm sorry about that, man. I want them to, I want them I'm to sorry, die. God. I want them to explode. <laughs> Did you do it? Did you kill him? They're dead. I <laughs> think they're dead. All right, they're gone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just a silent. I think they're actually dead, dude. I believe that whatever it is that is taking whatever this is from you is different than that item. It seems it's to be something, something about else. you. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why I would be, I don't know, sucking energy off or anything. I'm sorry that I'm apparently, I don't know, melting away or whatever. I'm not really sure how, the, how it's supposed to work. I wouldn't worry too much about it. It appears to only be your own spirit, but you are whole still, so it is not removing it, just moving it other places. 
our energy mm -hmm. seems to be perfectly fine with you. So as long as no. we are able to give you energy from what we have here, then you should be able to traverse this place without any problems. Well, hey, as long as you guys are doing fine and I'm not like imploding or anything, I think that's, uh, that's pretty good for both of us. Hmm. We could perhaps give you even more energy, but I believe that it w I believe that it would be inappropriate. So inappropriate. maybe just holding hands would be good for now. Is that <laughs> how you do it? <laughs> Well, currently, <laughs> currently, the way that it would be a little bit better is if you remove your glove. Yeah, well, sure thing. I mean, I can take off my glove for help. You could either Call you us. could either hold one of you could either hold some of our garments, or we can hold your hand. Everything okay. about us is spiritual, With, to our, from our garments to our hair to our skin. But for yeah, you, I guess everything is, you know, it's like a whole spiritual body, huh? But for you, we would have to grasp your skin in order to make sure that we transfer power. I'm, I'm going to just take off my glove. I think we can just work with that. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think yeah. we can, I, I got two hands. I feel like you need to roll for willpower. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll do it for you. So the DC, asshole. Oh, no. All right, what's the DC? What's the DC, Aaron? Um, that's two. Let's see if the so on level to Kate if Kate were to pass it with willpower uh, 17. Oh god. <laughs> DC 17. Oh god. Yeah. Whatever. You gave them this power. <laughs> Why have you done this? That's a nine. Anyway. <laughs> you gulp and you go, blah, 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 but you do take off your glove. <laughs> yeah, um. you just hear some other noise. <laughs> you, want this? you go, uh, and he just takes off all his gloves. As you take off the gloves, you do just fine. But it seems to just be normal as they look. Oh, apparently it is the same whether you ha you are gloved or not. <laughs> oh, well, that's good to know. It's I guess more skin contact isn't needed. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> as you were sitting there. And as you now know what they're doing, uh, would you like to ask anything else or anything? You do know now that apparently there's something about you that is a somewhat <laughs> siphoning your own spiritual energy. You remember in several cases with your allies that you've People also keep been, saying this about me. <laughs> you've also been having that strange void like um, uh, ability where like things seem to be like disappearing with you. But uh, I was born a suck. Uh, you were born to suck, man. What can I say? Yeah. Why do you suck so much? <laughs> I don't know. I can't control it. Fight it. Listen, let a man suck. It's fine. They seem Lake to, break or be a switch. They seem to hold you uh, for a little bit longer. And eventually, as the night goes on, they tell you, there are two of us now, so unfortunately we cannot, we cannot use our own bed. If you would like, you can use it and we can have the couch here. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess the bed's not like big enough for the both of you. So yeah, that's fair. It's, oh, I'll it's move big out. enough. It's just a little awkward to be hugging myself. I mean, you know what they say about self-love, right? It's important. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to hug, like that, that's, that's up to you. Like, <laughs> that's that's your decision between two identical non-sisters. <laughs> if it's awkward, I could be in the middle. <laughs> They do say, I could fit anywhere. I'm real tiny. They do say with a human in the middle, there's some leeway. <laughs> <laughs> with a human, it's a okay. Can we, can we find the food? Can we find we found them? I'm gonna move to the bed. <laughs> Gregor, you rest. The night passes relatively normally. Uh, you do feel that while you are sleeping, you start to feel better. You don't know why, but whenever you were sleeping back home, you never really noticed it, but you got more tired around nighttime. Maybe it has something to do with the spiritual stuff, maybe not, but upon getting that energy from them and upon maybe even just being in this world, your sleep seems to come to you a lot more readily you feel good it's one of the first 
good sleeps, like really good sleeps you've had. You ever in a realize you've never slept good in your entire life? <laughs> <laughs> Again, oh, I have insomnia. Okay. It wasn't something you really noticed, but usually your mind wandered. Usually you shifted a lot more. Uh, usually it took you quite a bit, even despite like closing your eyes to go to bed. And again, you would wake up a little bit late. Usually not anymore with Benny's fucking alarms going off. <laughs> yeah, but, I was fixed. But uh, without that, you have a really good rest. You open your eyes. You open the little the little cabinet which is the bed because there's like a little cabinet that like separates the bed. What are they lock her in? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> but as you go to step out, you look around, you know that the area about has not changed. Here in the Black Forest, from what you were told, it's usually just sort of night all the time. <laughs> usually just kind of dark. It's just like the eclipse. It's like I'm back at home. You see that the elf sisters, which are the same person and not sisters, are sleeping on either side of, of the couch currently. As you step out and begin to look about, you do feel that... You feel like you can do anything. Like you almost this feel like, like working out or something. Sleep feels like. <laughs> You're like, ah, this is great. Gregor. I would like to give you What's up? One of these. Huh. You're going to have one of these, Gregor. You can place that wherever you want. I thought I just had like ADD or something. I didn't think I had some <laughs> kind of problem. Yeah. <laughs> you can uh, place that I'll wherever put it you want. Like. Potential? Hell yeah. As you get up, would you like to look around? Would you like to leave the room? What would you like to do? I'm going to be real with you. It's the first time I've woken up in my entire life that I feel like a person. Uh, there's a full box of snacks. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fucking raid this place. I am sorry. Gregor, you make your way over toward the snacks. As you do, you note that uh, they've been left out throughout the night. However, looking at them, they look like they are as pristine as they were even last night, as if they were freshly gotten. You notice that even the the, uh, the hot the dogs, sausage, the like... sausage still seems to be hot, steaming even. Uh, the croissant doesn't look like it's hot or like, or like hard at all. It looks very soft, very flaky. Um, there's a large chocolate egg that despite <gasps> the despite the uh, comfortable temperature, doesn't look like it melted in any way. <laughs> you see a second wheel of cheese on top of the wheel of cheese over here. It's got it's got like a little like little Pac-Man thing going on. It's kind of cool. There's a second just whole wheel of cheese on top of it, and you also note sitting atop of that appears to be bloop. exactly fifty-five cards. A pile of cards on that second wheel of cheese, as well as a note. Oh, there's a note on everything. Hold on, I gotta read this. Uh, don't die. <laughs> uh, sign your friends. Oh, they found me. That's cool. And, and your buddy, Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Uh, <laughs> who the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Call me if you need anything. I don't have a number. Um, or if you need anything else, like a like a, I can put it. My why do you write this? Like my street address. I don't know if I want people in the other world knowing. I don't think they can figure it out. <laughs> don't let the giant rat get my cheese. This is an investment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with your friends, by the way. Why do they write all of this? <laughs> I'm very happy that you went. You you know the entirety of that of that fucking uh, of the note. <laughs> I knew it would make a good gag. <laughs> yeah, Why do they mean a giant rat? Yeah, your friends seem to have somehow sent you a, a bunch of cards. What's happening to them over there? I hope they're all right. <laughs> I mean, it's like another student or something. I'm not going to question that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That does open up some questions, though. I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna bring my question down. I'm questionnaire. You bring your you bring yourself over. What do you what do you grab on on here on the spread here? 
I need that fucking sausage link, dude. What the fuck? That looks. <laughs> you grab you some sausage. You grab like uh. You grab like the the croissant. You're like. Yeah, if you put this some is like great. bread, some some meat, and then you bring in the cheese, now you're really living the real white people lifestyle. You find over here again. There are like alcohols, but also like juices over on the other side here where these <laughs> things are. Alcohols and juices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you eventually turn into alcohols. Drugs. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Oh, it is done. Hold on. Yeah, it fucking is. Thank you, Kreb. Oh, boy. <laughs> I needed them. Thank you. Much appreciated. Did you make the white one? Or like... No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, the, the opposite, actually. <laughs> hey, yo. We made her black. <laughs> I don't know why Spotify has been turning off so much lately. Anyway. Wish we could hear it. Well, no, you're not allowed. We don't need to know anything. It's fine. Yes, as you eat your breakfast, you have your you have your good stuff. It's not like it's, unfortunately, it's not like it's a it's a vending machine burrito or a draw bread or anything. You don't get anything from it. <laughs> I, I only get a good breakfast and a good night's sleep. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know the, draw, the draw cheese seems to be pretty good. <laughs> The I'm, I'm not cheese. envying the people having to eat nothing but a hundred year old burritos. It's fine. A <laughs> hundred year old burritos apparently give you stats. I don't, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Plus two XP. Shit, dude. Now I'm doing my sausage. Look, it's hot and steaming. You finish. You 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 eat you some. You eat you some some sausage link. Uh, you eat as many of these as you'd like. <laughs> You note that once you put the sausage link back down, again, still just very steamy. <laughs> uh, currently, you you have your breakfast. You look about. Uh, nothing seems to have changed. These two are still asleep. I don't want to go waking them of their sleep, and that's like that's kind of like rude. So I guess I'll poke around. You make your Let way. Taking this wad of cards away. You make your way out from the main area. As you do, you look about. You do find that uh, your your um, uh, elf judge is over by the beginning area as usual. Uh, he looks as if he's moving over toward that large uh, that large um, uh, scroll that you had ooh, seen coming into here. Seems to be looking upon it. Uh, currently, it doesn't look like there's anybody else in the main uh, section here, except I'm lying. Because you do find, you would lie? yeah. Because you do find there is one of the prisoners walking about, off to the other side. You see Jane Homestuck. Oh my God, Jane Homestuck! I gotta know if if, if gotta, I gotta go and ask. You gonna make your way to Jane Homestuck? Yeah, I gotta go get my way to Jane Homestuck. You run your way over to Jane Homestuck, ready to accuse them of escaping or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> <laughs> As you make your way to Jane Homestuck, she does look over towards you as you go around the area of the, of the water here and then reach them. It's like, good morning. Or whatever uh, morning, morning is here. I mean, we're woken up, so that's morning enough, right? <laughs> Gotta be honest, where I'm from, you didn't really find much difference in certain times of the day, but we at least could tell when it was daytime. Oh, really? Where are you from? The satellite. Oh, satellite, eh? Yeah, there's usually like this fog over everything, so you could never really tell if it was like early morning or late night or anything. Oh, yeah, so clocks, it was kind though, of so like constantly just like you didn't really know. Just kind of smoggy. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm I'm personally from like the eclipse myself, so whenever I looked up, I just saw buildings. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't really know much about uh, Neo Domino. I shrugs. Oh, born and raised satellite, eh? <laughs> yeah, I guess you'd say that. I gotta ask, how's the, how's the, the other girl doing, right? Like, I uh, think I might just made her more upset before. She's, uh, having a bit of an issue. Uh, apparently, well, first off, do you know, you know what happened to us, right? I have made some uh, very quick lessons learned, yeah. I've learned from a couple of individuals that the satellite disappeared from your mm -hmm. place. It's here now. It's it's in the spirit world. Um, that I followed. It's crazy. It's on top of like... And apparently an, they're like, like a serpent or something. Serpent? I heard something about usurping. Oh, usurping. Uh, yeah. 
there's a, well, very, a lot of odd stuff happening in the Beast Gear world. Other people are taking care of that. I don't remember exactly what was happening when I left. I just sort of found this place. Um, apparently, you're not supposed to be able to move through the different zones, but I had saw this big crack of lightning off into, uh, off into the, uh, the more deserty part of the desert. And whenever that happened, I saw in front of me a tree, and I went toward it, and it brought me here. Wait, 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 crack of lightning? Yeah, big one. Oh, I think, I think I might know that one, actually. Oh, that's where that came from. <laughs> there was a huge crack of lightning. We were stuck at, like, there for a little bit before, and we met this big old guy who shoots lightning. Mm -hmm. I think he opened that one. Oh, well... Apparently, whenever that happened, a lot of weird stuff happened around the Beast Gear world, so it uh, went crazy. Whenever I came here, I met with uh, some other people like me, but I also met with her. She's apparently in a similar boat. Apparently, whenever everything went crazy back whenever the satellite went, like, exploded, she made her way here. Whoa, well, what? Yeah. Apparently, she knew that the satellite was gone, but something about whenever that place went up, something went unstable here in the here in the Beast Gear world. I guess they call it the Elemental Planes. I don't know. But something went really unstable, and it started pulling people in here randomly from different places. Oh, so there were just people were getting dragged in here completely. Her, That's crazy. Her was... She was different. <coughs> Apparently, she was looking into some stuff like that with her teacher, and then her teacher sort of threw her in here. Did it, yo? I was gonna ask. I say that happened to me. <laughs> I don't know much about it. Um, you guys apparently seem to come from a similar place, but uh, her teacher was looking into some of that stuff, and then whenever he found something, some kind of a card or some kind of a something, he threw her in here too and that was according to you about nine months ago something like that yeah give or take i mean i'm not i wasn't even keeping full time in prison or whatever but that's pretty close which means for me it's been about it's been a little bit over a year since the satellite went right should be yeah it's been around a year i think that she was a little worried uh, she was the first year whenever all that was going down. Um, and apparently for her, it's only felt like a, like a month or so. But still, she's been here all that time. Uh. She apparently went through some stuff over at the casino. They are a little bit weird there about humans. Apparently some spirits... Weird and like, uh, like, uh... What gone away? Apparently some spirits, as well as apparently some humans who are also kind of spirits here. I don't know. Apparently some of them sort of really like people from our world. And they pay a they pay a pretty high dollar to see them. To see them, like... Yeah. Just to look at them? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Apparently, among other things, but she got out of there pretty, pretty early. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. <laughs> they just try prostituting these girls. She didn't tell me much about it, but apparently it's all ran by that judge man thing. Oh, yeah, I keep hearing that word, yeah. Apparently, if you have some kind of debt with them, then you have to work it off somehow. And it's better to work it off in certain ways than other things, but they don't really tell you everything up front. Everything's sort of weighted against people there. You are brought there, you're, you're told that you owe a certain amount, and at that point you either have to gamble your way out or you have to work it off. Oh, I see. They got the whole game loaded, huh? Yeah, from what I've heard from some of the elves around here, there isn't really a winning there. Hmm. It feels like I guess it's it would make sense that you wouldn't run a casino, that's fair. I didn't do that at home either. It feels like it's similar out in the actual Beast Gear world. Apparently the Judge Man has some way of moving between the Beast Gear world and here. 
he's getting a lot of clientele, some that come from that side and some that come from this side. He's apparently been able to do that for so long. He just has a special power, but nobody can force him to use it for anything else. And whenever they do, he just bets with them and then they lose. Uh -huh. So he's got the whole place under his bum, huh? Yeah. Apparently nobody from the other, nobody from the actual Beast Gear world, which I guess it's weird to consider that. The desert area above this place. Apparently they can't do much and most people don't care to. He's a big entertainment source for a lot of people. Hmm. Right now, yeah, that makes I'm doing some chores. Complicated. Right now, I'm doing some chores. Um, oh, you're going to do rock breaking? <laughs> I'm going to make my way over there, yeah. Um, we don't have to, but they give us a little bit of leeway when we do. I'm doing my chores and her chores for the moment until she can sort of get better. She hasn't ever really done them, but I'm sure she will one day. Or that, or we'll get out of here. I don't know. I mean... I mean, I'm starting to form some kind of idea, you know, before, not to like say it too loudly or anything, but back in that, that portal, because if you're saying it was a lightning crack or something, then our guy has to be over there. And he's the guy that got us out of the spirit world the first time. Hmm. So in theory, if we find that one again, we could get out. Now that you mention it, and don't, don't like, I don't know, maybe this is wrong or not. Something similar happened when we first showed up here. There was a big crack of lightning or like a storm or whatever. And this big dragon showed up. Like almost out of nowhere. Seems like every time there's a crack of lightning, something seems to happen. And if you know what that thing is, I've seen it do crazy shit. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it could be <clears throat> between, like, um, one, one, the guy I know, the guy I know's mother, or the third thing, which I don't know if it's here or there or anywhere. You know a but lot of- But if it's a dragon, of, it might be the first two. You know a lot of crazy lightning things. Oh, yeah. I mean, the whole thing was about crazy lightning things. It was kind of weird. <laughs> it's fine. I know a couple of crazy people, too. I mean, I'm, I mean, if, if crazy works for you, baby, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> uh, at the moment, I don't really have time for that, but you want to help me mess around some of these crystal things? But don't mind. Uh, the people who are currently escorting me here are currently asleep. I'm not going to wake them up. Oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of the spirits here seem to sleep a lot. Apparently, something about this place is just not very good for them. Whatever that black smoke is seems to mess with them a lot. Oh, yeah, I, I heard about that. Apparently, it just kind of, like, like takes you. I, I walked through a bit a little, and it just kind of, like, sucks you out or something. Yeah, a lot of the spirits here have problems with it. Some of them are seemingly fine with it. The big thing with us right now, apparently, they can't really trust us, a lot of us, because they feel like we could be spies from that other place. So, I get it, but it's also, like, you know... They're also kind of imprisoning us, but at least they're not, like, doing weird shit. I don't know what to say. Yeah, it's, it's a very low bomb. I mean, I guess yeah. they aren't clearing it. They're just imprisoning you, which sounds bad. It's, it's, it's kind of bad. I mean, if I were to go and tell, like, anyone from, like, Satellite, which apparently they became, like, a big deal uh, in a very short amount of time. If I were to go tell any of them, they'd probably be super mad. I might not, but I also might. I don't know. It'd be really funny to see how some of them react. <laughs> We have this we have this one guy who literally just punches everything like if there's oh, something really? to punch he will punch it and he has like a dragon inside of him or something so like it's big punches oh so you, you know you're gonna see if he ends up coming here and just just wrestling these off ladies i don't know he went off and he went off into the desert uh on a bike at one point and he hasn't came back since oh he's doing the all alone wanda i think yeah 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 there's this one girl she she makes uh Stop for a second. Potions. <laughs> uh, potions? Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> and she just starts walking. <laughs> <laughs> she makes potions. 
and that's the only important member. <laughs> she's just like sitting there, there like, it's like, I know this girl, she's a lesbian. She's just um, sitting there like, I don't know if they will believe half the shit that I'm saying. So maybe I should just go. <laughs> it's like, are you homophobic? You have to tell me. It's like, dude, like, I can tell it's like I can tell you about the other ones, but they're all so weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's, of, fine, that's fine. That's fine. Two of them are apparently connected to a weird demon. One of, oh, them, one of them has like a big demon, but it isn't a demon, but it's a dragon, but it's actually a beast. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> As they bring you in, you find that Gale currently is off in the corner of this place. Bloop and bloop just snoring <laughs> i'm good for her uh at this point is there any of these you would like to try to tackle i'm gonna be real i'm very small i'm looking for the small one here so like either this or this maybe i can work this one out make your way over there you find that they look to you they give a little wave and they make their way over to one of them as well uh as you make your way over to this you do find that there is some kind of a silhouette inside but you're not sure what kind of creature or what kind of thing is in there. Uh, as you make your way to it, why don't you give me uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, either a potential or a strength? Well, I thank God I put a single potential. We're coming on top. <laughs> Let's give it our best try. 20. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give it our best try. You touch it, it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> they call it the Gregor treatment, baby. I don't know if I can do this, guys. Poke explosion. <laughs> well, give me one second. Wait, did I already, do I already have it in here? Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Would it be? It wouldn't be you guys, no. Uh, where yet? Give me a momo. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to just not twenty it, but whatever. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> you find I'm as fine, you, you make your way over to it, you see as you bust one of them open. Two. Sorry, I had to upload it. <laughs> Can I understand? I forgive you. You see, as this thing explodes at your touch, <laughs> a person show themselves. You immediately take note uh, of their outfit uh, because they have these big old bunny ears coming out the top. Oh, baby. <laughs> Get out of here. You're, you're destroyed. Fuck off. You're gone. <laughs> Damn, God. <laughs> oh, God, she's reaching. <laughs> <laughs> you see what appears to be a bunny person coming out from uh, coming out from in there. They are uh, wearing a, a, a very, very nice, very nice, very revealing outfit. They have some cards in there uh, in their uh, hat. You recognize that these could be a part of uh, of the same set as your gamble bunny is. Uh, but you've never seen this card before. Oh, Oh, <laughs> they seem to immediately fall upon uh, their prison exploding. Oh, there she goes. I got this one out. What the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently I had the magic touch. <laughs> you just see, you just see Jane Homestuck <laughs> rush over to you. It's just like, well, touch another one. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. I'm going to go touch another one. Like it's somehow going to happen again. Quick, touch me. Wait. Roll me, roll, me, roll me for your potential. <laughs> you it's have like, certain, clearly I can do this twice. You have a certain number of these you can touch per day. I mean, I can't net 20 every time in a fucking row. Let's see, man. You do I gave you a 14, though. You find as you go to touch this one, there is a large crack that goes down it. How are you doing that? <laughs> I guess I'm just touching it and they they just they the, the crystals they love answering to me, man. Look, can you do it? Can can you keep going? 
Um, I'm gonna guess I'll try. I'll, I'll, I'll touch I'll, it I'll, again. I'll, I'll, I'll try. They, they go and touch it, and nothing happens. Like, come the fuck on. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Roll me one I'm more. Sorry, potential. baby. These hands are these hands are exclusive. Yeah, apparently you have the magic touch. My God. <laughs> yeah, I got the magic touch, dude. Another thirteen. <laughs> Uh, you find that the uh, the crystal seems to crack and as it does it doesn't explode like the other one uh <laughs> yeah, into like crack. nothing but it does seem to split oh never mind hold on we maybe maybe it actually fully comes out you have two you have two inspiration oh, okay all right three let's see we have two in we have three we'll roll to see if it fucking explodes why not that you were you were you were a little bit off so we'll hey wait two more <laughs> Just see if it's a little bit less off. One. Eight. So with an 18, instead of me <laughs> saying that it, it like gets shot back and like looks like it's about to go down, it shatters. It's 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 gone. It's it's out of it here. Just like the other it's one. It's gone again. Uh, let me get you another one. <laughs> My magic touch, dude. <laughs> Thank you, they Chad. call this me magic fingers. Time, oh my god. Do, 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 do. This is gonna have. They call me magic fingers, baby. I got the golden touch. It's potentially gonna have some repercussions down the road, but we'll see. Um... <laughs> do, 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 do. Where are you at? Are you saying that people see me break two fucking crystals in one afternoon in a place where that's like a huge political thing right now is going to have any kind of repercussion? I think not. What are you talking about? That sounds stupid and silly. <laughs> I think I simply am going to win forever. <laughs> you did what? Break me out of here now. Break me out. Get me out. Get me out. Free me. <laughs> Where are you at, you fucker? I don't know. I don't know. There you are. <laughs> you find as this one breaks, yet another woman appears. Lots of women's in these. <laughs> I, I don't want to think about that too much. <laughs> as another person seems to appear, this one does not fall, however. This one, as it bursts out, is just sort of floating there. <laughs> oh, I know there's one. <laughs> as you see them look as if they were never frozen to begin with. Like you can, you, like there's the other one has She's collapsed. Fine. This one is just sort of floating, sitting on nothing, looking about, like sort of like moves a hand through their hair and like, Shake some tiny little crystallized rock fragments out of it. Oh, she's fine. There you go. <gasps> what is this? Uh, you appear to be currently in um, I believe. Get yeah, tell me if I'm wrong. Which of the Red Desert, right? Gregor, right? Yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. You've had me before, right? Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> uh, so, following, okay, all right, introduction's over. Very cool to meet you. Uh, we're currently in, uh, the Black Forest. You're there now. Oh. You were trapped in some kind of crystal like those back there. Oh, yes, I did come to the Black Forest. God. Yeah, you might have touched one of those. Apparently, if you touch these, they just turn you into, into a crystal. Oh. So don't touch more of those. Hmm, but why not? You'd just get me out <laughs> again, I, would you not? I mean, I would try my best, but apparently I have the magic touch. You do not um, feel like you can, you, as as you have now used that three times, you do not feel like you can do it anymore today. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of magic, you actually. Like, you I'm, like look to your arm that did that and you're just like, <laughs> oh, I just feel like I did like a like 100 curls of like a 50 pound weight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have actually uh, done all of that that I could do for the rest of my life, I think. I think I'm, I'm going to be real with you, ma'am. I had the best and only sleep of my life 13 minutes ago. Um, I'm kind of rolling on high right now, but that, that's it. I can't do it again, at least not for today. I mean, long if, you tell, if you tell the elves here that you can do that, I'm sure they'll well, they'll probably keep you. Maybe you shouldn't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they should know that. I mean, it's going to be hard for them not to. 
<laughs> I think they're gonna start getting possessive. Which I don't mind, but you know. Potentially, they might think of some really kinky stuff to keep you. You could potentially use it to your advantage. I mean, I heard, I saw you talking to those prisoners before. Maybe you can use whatever this is to get some of them out if you need them. I don't want to I mean... leave without the others, obviously, but you were talking I mean, about spirits following. Before. That's I mean, that's an idea. I mean, right now, I'm pretty sure. So the other girl, she thinks, but they think that she's like half evil or something. Yeah, let's 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 sit in that. Oh, you're spinning. Oh, they're just, sort of, like, they're just sort of like flying around you. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. I, and they I, stop, I like but it. they're just like looking over your shoulder. They're like touching the fabric of your of your um, uh, academy uniform. <laughs> you know, for like for like when you think of the school, it's actually pretty nice. <laughs> Hmm. But that's the point. Uh, you stand the point out. Is, you stand out a lot with that, though. No, oh, with the with this. I mean, yeah, that's the point. You want to stand out? I mean, I don't know if I should be like incognito, but you know. Okay. They put their hand back. You note that there was a slight bit of green energy that seemed to have been gathering in the palm of their hand, but then they stopped. <laughs> you, you're gonna <laughs> make me green. Nope. They were gonna give you the same outfit they had. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, make my hair green. I need to follow my heritage. It's like, no, what you were gonna do there? Give it to Jane. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give it to Jane Homestuck. Put her in that outfit. I for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. I don't no 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 I don't I would I wouldn't like it or anything. I mean I would a lot, but <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not the point. The point is, uh they think that if they get like someone <clears throat> from over there. And I mean, maybe this one can do it. I don't know, she seems collapsed though, I don't think. If they can get someone from over there, from the casino <laughs> area. Yeah, she's not doing good. To come over here and figure that out, then they can actually figure out if she's good or not. I was thinking, you know, we do like a quick pull pro. I take some of the people that are in there out. We all go over there. We go bring her back. Cause I mean, I'm pretty good, but I'm not like finding like a whole armada of bunny girls good. Hmm. Well, uh, I have a question then. Okay, I'm following. <laughs> Do you... What the fuck is this? How come you're not... Why are you so low? Fucking... I, I, I not to so interrupt, but I really do hate that the way they drew this, it just keeps making me... Like, yeah, I, I forget that she has a face. I just keep looking at her boobs. <laughs> um, like, that's me. That's me, Fomo. They, just... they, are obviously, they are obviously not wearing anything under that. <laughs> yeah, like, it's... The way this thing is clinging to literally everything. The nipples <laughs> are showing, dude. I can't. <laughs> she does this on purpose to distract her foes that try to hit her with melee attacks. Also, wearing, wearing anything else inside of a desert is hot. <laughs> yeah, awesome. man, if it works for her. <laughs> and the no. big hats to block out the sun. This yeah. is a practical outfit. Yeah. Uh, big hat would approve. You just see Jane look over toward um, uh, toward the witch, look back to you. You don't... Could you... Would you mind like, me like taking what? credit for one of these? I mean... I think I should just probably just take credit for one, right? I mean, I, you can't, I don't, I don't want to take it away from you, obviously, but each of them would probably net you a favor. And if I do it, I might be able to get myself and my cellmates out. Listen, girl, done. Don't, don't, don't tell me anymore. <laughs> if you need both of them, you can grab both of them. I'll just be here like I was watching and cheering the whole time. Uh, one of them, one of them is obviously her and I want to make sure that she's not, you know, locked away, uh, at least while she's here. But the other one reminds me of someone that apparently people are looking for over in the satellite. So I might be able to get him over there at some point. I don't know how yet. Uh, in order to get to the actual place, I need to go through the judge man. And I don't think I want to do that, but maybe I could follow you back to our yeah, world we'll, and we'll, find we'll another way out, around. Because I mean, I don't want to live here. All right. Like you guys are great. I don't want to live here. Oh, so... No problem. You're not supposed to live here. Yeah, that's, that's the idea. That, yeah, that's the point. It's like so, the, the witch is just like floating over. You're like, yeah, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, upside down like, looking at you. <laughs> wow, you're real talented. Uh, oh, sorry. But no, it's all right. But, but yeah, like, I was inspecting you know, your chin. I had heard that you grow hair there. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not very good at it. 
You seem to be of the correct age. Listen, I was trying to do it to myself, and I was like, I <laughs> <laughs> The point is that uh, if you think there's someone you can get out with that, then that's fine. You can take you can take the favor. I don't have problem, no problem with that. Especially if you know if they see that I'm cracking these left and right. I don't want them to like I don't know try to keep me or something. So if I just say it's like one, and you say I worked at it real hard, I was sweating and stuff. Maybe they won't ask any questions. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. It, yeah. If you're fine with that. I'm 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 fine with that. I'm fine. <laughs> they reach over, put a head on your put a hand on your head. It's like good, good boy. <laughs> As you shrink her a little bit more because she was a full head. I realized, I realized that like she was like a giant for no, some she, reason. No, you keep you keep you seem to keep forgetting that Gregor is like five foot nothing. Oh, that's true. <laughs> it's not even five foot. There we go. That's good. Like I don't know if you forgot, but the rest of the team is NBA size. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, hold on. I got. I can fix it. There we go. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a tit level. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Uh, Perfect level. Her eyes are up there. By the way, I just now realized something and I'm ashamed of myself. What? Uh, during the recap, <laughs> we had gotten a $10 donation and I yeah. saw it during the recap and I gave the, the things over. I gave the I gave the, the, the little inspirations over here. Uh, there was a thing from Parallel Entertainment for $10. It says, hey, Gregor. I was inspired by your love of gambling, so as of immediately, I'm gonna build pachinko machines based off dual monsters, and we'll call it Dual Terminal. That sounds great. <laughs> but yeah, I'd already given you the things; I just forgot to read it out. I'm I'm, I'm such an asshole. Anyway, that's fine. <laughs> as you are willing to do that, the two of them, uh, the two of you slash three of you wait for a little bit longer. Uh, you see that. Uh, Jane has gone over to check on the other the other bunny uh, over there while that's happening you just see the witch looking over at you are you still using me I have no idea hold on because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was gonna have use a regulator and I didn't have two copies <laughs> moment of truth is she still in your deck let's find out are you that much of an asshole that would take her out of your deck? Her Apparently I did. I will take How my L. How dare you? <laughs> as you look I through your deck. I knew she was in my deck, but not right now. As you look through your deck and you realize that she's not in there, you just look back over at them. There is a slightly dark look coming from them looking down at you. You're like, oh, hold on. It's here somewhere. <laughs> like double checking. <laughs> Maybe if I keep looking. <laughs> Uh, you know what, Goosey? The my, issue uh, was that I'm gonna tell you pitch. from my heart. I, I wanted to throw myself in front of the crowd, not Gregor, me. Uh, I was act, acting for Maximum Woman in my deck, but I needed two copies of her, and I only had one at the time. <laughs> you <laughs> so find I was like shit. You I'm find that as one. you are looking through, I'm gonna check your deck really quick. It's not in there. I'm telling no, no, you. I, I know. I, I know it's not in there. Oh God. Uh, but I'm gonna look at your deck very quickly. Da, 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 da. You find as she's... I had her in my extras. I had her kept. Don't worry. You find that as she's looking through the things in your deck, uh, she does seem to... Uh, um, she does seem to huff, and a card seems to lift from your deck. I'm going to be as nice as possible. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be as absolutely fucking Ma'am, I can nice just switch it myself. I, I got the car with me. <laughs> I'm gonna be as no, absolutely nice to you as I can. This is like when your girlfriend realizes you don't have any pictures of her. <laughs> She's not my girlfriend. No, 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 no. Gregor Can't has so many potential girlfriends right now. Can't believe you deleted your girlfriend's pictures. Okay. I'm, I was gonna make sure that your deck would still be legal if I did this, and I think <laughs> it will. You find that one of your cards lift up as they do. Bloop. You see a different monster up here. Wait, no, she's a seven. Hold on. Yeah, that's the issue. Now you understand where I was. Do, 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 do. You would have to take a thing, the rock one, the seven star, or yeah. the other one. Do you have another one? Oh, wait, no. You, your other one is uh, your other one is uh, Emperor. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it would be this. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> As you see one of your monsters rise up and then immediately it shifts about and turns into her. You know what? That's fair. All right, man. <laughs> As she seems very much like, who the fuck is this? Get him out of here. <laughs> this isn't a beautiful woman like me. How dare. <laughs> As she yes, looks, ma'am. All right, ma'am. As she looks over, she's like, "Oh, you do have me in here." <laughs> <laughs> Always has. <laughs> Always has been. Yeah. <laughs> you find that uh, they seem to bring their hand out a small little flaming rock that you can only assume is the monster that uh, that you already had in your spot. <laughs> uh, seems to appear in her hand, and then she puts it into her sleeve, and it disappears. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> Team women forever. You see Jane make her way back. Uh, okay, so um, maybe so we don't make any sort of um, d big deals. I say that I summoned the witch here and you got the... And it's just like she grabs onto you. No. Um... <laughs> They were both around the same size. We'll just we'll do it like that, all right? Like a... I, I mean, I'm I'm fine with with the with the bunny as well. I just <laughs> she like looks to you, looks to her, <laughs> looks to you, looks to her. That, that's fine. Don't worry. We'll, we'll do it. That, and you can take credit for the bunny. And I'll take credit yeah, for I was, this. I was just thinking it I... might be easier if the one that I had could talk at the moment. And uh, I I agree. I completely agree. Um. Uh... Cause she won't because like points at a bunny she won't be in on our plan you see <laughs> yeah yeah she's not on the plan i mean i mean she's gonna like looking back to, to her like i mean that that makes sense right like we could just like hey, if you can do it like that that'd be fine either she tells them or i will <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'll i'll be over here yeah all right <laughs> 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 Why has this mini arc been Gregor getting manhandled by several women? <laughs> I mean, it's his dream, is it not? <laughs> I can't not wait like for the arc where. Not like this. <laughs> I can't wait for the arc where Kate also gets manhandled by several women. <laughs> Gregor, do not give in to lust. There's just, there's just yeah. a thing from Kate, I'll just like it should have been me. Hand. I should have been, been kicked down here. <laughs> Price should have fucked those two. Price should have threw me into should have threw me into the forest. <laughs> Going back in time, take me in, dog. <laughs> this is why I get for being respectful. Shame. <laughs> A little bit of time passes, as it does. You do see that eventually, uh, the uh, the uh, ancient elf judge makes their way inside. They look about. They see immediately that two of the things have been destroyed and they walk calmly over. Uh, as they do, they look over toward uh, the two of you. It seems you've already made progress. Yeah, what can we tell you? Little by little, we're, we're, we're working at them. The two of you did this? Well, yeah, I mean, she did that one over there, the one with the bunny, and I did this one over here. Bunny. Hmm. They make their way over to the uh, one that's laying there. This one seems to be one of the gamble bunnies from over at the casino. Oh yeah, no mistake in it. Hmm. <sighs> we will have to find a cell for them. We don't know exactly how much they will know about the current situation, how long they've been where they've been, or anything else. Hmm. Good, good job, humans. I do really appreciate this. Perhaps we are one step closer to having all of the ones here freed. At which point we'll do one more look through the entire forest and see if any other of our brethren have been locked away. I mean, yeah, we, we uh, you know, us humans walking together, uh, whenever we can. Uh, speaking of which, they look forward. Is this uh, not something we've already discussed then? Hmm. I did tell you that you would need to work here and show your loyalty, at which point I would release you. 
Your friend is still someone who has made their way from the great casino, though, are they not? Uh, she escaped from there. As I've already told you, uh, the two that are in there, they need to be like three. They're not well. He looks over towards you, Gregor. I mean, yeah, I can corroborate. I mean, at the very least, I mean, I don't know if, like, any, like, specific... I don't know the girl, right? And I don't know the other guy either, but I can tell you very much that, you know, She's if there's anything, like... She's wearing a similar like, garb to you, is she not? That's what I was going to say. Yeah, you are astute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are an astute person. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute great person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they're. I mean, we talked in a little. I haven't been able to really get a word in with her, but yeah, if anything is to say, they came in the same way I did. Which means they're not from the casino. And the other one is dressed similarly to you. But they did come from the direction. I. As long as you continue to aid, I will. I do not see any reason to keep you in those places. Not to mention, we could use your cell for this person. I will release you as well as the two that are uh, that are in your uh, cell. And you, human, looks over towards you, Gregor. Would you want anything? I mean, if we're asking about people to free, uh, I'm thinking there's a couple of people that I would probably note on if we're if I, I mean we talked about it before i don't know if we really like hatch any plans yeah going over there and finding someone to help i don't know if she helps we kind of passed out freedom is one of the things you could ask for if you wish to have any other kind of boon we could find try to figure it out the people in those cells could be dangerous after all are you sure i'm pretty sure then i will allow you to release three as i'm releasing three for them as well Mm-hmm. You're, uh, you're very kind, sir. Try to make sure that my kindness doesn't backfire, all right? Well, I'll do my best. He starts looking around the area. <sighs> yes, we're soon to be finished here, I believe. Starts walking away. As they go to exit, uh, Jane just looks over to you, looks back down toward them. Uh, you note that they look as if they begin to disappear. The bunny. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, I believe they're setting them up in the cell. Oh, they just can do that? They can move anybody in this place to a different place. They apparently, they apparently have full reign over this entire chapel. I mean, I guess they would. I wasn't expecting her to just be, like, unpersoned and put over there. <laughs> Anyway, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they they accidentally put her in the psycho chamber. Lord Poyo just eats her, comes out, has bunny ears. No. No. It should be me over there. Gamble bunny Poyo. <laughs> uh as um, uh that happens, she looks um, uh, back to you. Well, apparently you can choose three of the others to take with you. I will say, if you're planning on going over to the casino, you would probably need the help of some spirits. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Again, I'm not. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm not fighting like a whole spirit thing. Apparently the judgment thing is really big. Uh, I could use the help. Also, apparently I'm like deceased or something. I don't, I haven't been following. Deceased? Yeah, like, apparently, like, I need, like, spirit energy to survive, because if I don't make it myself or something... You say I, that, I... and then arms appear over your shoulders? Oh. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Is that true? I mean, as far as we've tried and tried it, d more touch doesn't do anything, but I do appreciate it. Who's we? <laughs> <laughs> 
Roll for her, Jacob. Roll. No. <laughs> It'd be really funny, but no. She looks to you. She looks down toward where your uh, where your deck is, and she goes. Understood. At which point, she seems to disappear. Yup. Did they move her into a cell too? Uh, n no. <laughs> I don't think that was the same thing. Uh, I think your deck's glowing. No, well, the eye yeah, is okay. <laughs> Not your dick. Not your dick. Oh, <laughs> Not my dick. <laughs> Not again. Not again. Fucking again. Anyway. Um, <laughs> the two of you make your way a little bit away from the main section. As you do, uh, she looks back to you. Thanks again. If soon again, as, no as soon as she wakes up, maybe we can get some info out of her if she does work for that place. Or maybe you can figure something out if you return here. Yeah, I would I would love to talk to her. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's a lot of questions I still have. Especially sure if we to... had the same teacher or something. Oh, I was more meaning uh the bunny. Oh, her too, actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you could probably be able to talk to her. She'll probably feel better when she's out of that cell. I'm gonna go get her actually. Uh yeah, you yeah. go talk to I'm the gonna ones go... you wanna go get. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that. Alright. She makes her way out. Uh do you follow? Yeah. Gregor, you make your way into the room with the cells. As you do, you note that uh, there is a missing uh, goddess of a third eye, not at the top of that area. Uh, however, uh, you do find that the water magician is still there. They, st they appear to be yawning, <laughs> but they are still there. Uh, Jane makes their way over toward the other section. Uh, you find that... Uh, the prisoners that were around the different area have been teleported back, including. <laughs> you find that there is an, there is a sleepy elf inside of the sleepy. They elf just chamber. got her sleeping in there. <laughs> uh, at which point you're going to make your way over toward the other three. You have seen me and you're already at the fucking door. <laughs> hey, I've seen this. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> you've seen the bunny girl over here. <laughs> Come on. You could have switched me with her. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> you want to make your way over to them? Yeah, yeah. Who are you going to first? Uh, in terms of distance, it would make <laughs> sense to first go to to uh, Wakanda forever. All right. You make your oh, way. Oh, over... she's jumping out. All right. <laughs> she's 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 leaving. You make your way over to uh, Adira. Oh, it is small red. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what I look like. Rise and shine. Like, yes, I oh. am small and red. <laughs> yeah. Rise like the warrior you are. So how are you? I'm doing, I'm actually doing great. I've, I've, have you ever realized that you've been doing something wrong your whole life? Oh, uh, yes. That was when I was using my yes. shield wrong. It's not a budgeting weapon. I mean, you can use it as a, I mean, that's not the point. Uh, the point is, uh, Apparently, I've been sleeping wrong my whole life. Oh, that is very bad. Sleep is a very strong battle. And if you're so, feeling so that... it turns out the sleep could actually kill me. Sleep is a very strong battle. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. <laughs> I miss sleep. Oh, by the way, by the way, Adira, I just wanted to let you know your, your cell mm -hmm. is not locked. It's not locked? No, it's not locked at all. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like whatever they'll fix it it's like slightly open at this point listen i uh i got in a favor i'm gonna get the free of you out the doors the door is open so you can just like walk out oh so they're not gonna bring, fix myself no 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 you can just you can just walk it, uh, i mean it's been broken for a while oh <laughs> you can break it <laughs> yeah then let me go back out so no, oh, well, I guess it's kind of like a. That's fine. All right. Yeah, Adira, Adira does does little does little jobs for them. <laughs> yeah, just I like, think yeah, it's just like work. I don't I don't think it's like like it's broken. I think they just letting you out. <laughs> oh. I think it's work as intended, actually. <laughs> oh, so it's another job. What is the job? We are gonna discuss that as soon as we get everyone. So let's stop. Let's let's keep moving down the line. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. So who else are we getting? Are we getting the um honey water woman? <laughs> 
<laughs> you seem I, to really like her. <laughs> so let's keep let's keep I let's keep walking. Yeah, are you getting the horny strong... water woman? How do you do this? <laughs> but you might not to win. <laughs> Uh, Jacqueline, you see them go over towards you. Ah, oh, you're choosing to fight depression. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not fighting depression. I'm just letting it out. Oh, that is smart. Depression is very are, strong. Are you sure that you let me out? The, the door's already open. The choice is already made. You can you can walk out. Their door is not open. Okay, I have to actually no. So she was just letting out. Okay, I just have to. Yeah, ask. yeah. There's just just open. There's just just has been open. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they just let her out. <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm clear that there was a miscommunication going on. Uh, Miss uh, Water Magician. Hmm. Uh, the overweight woman. Uh. Dip, 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 dip. Uh, not the like dog, but I, I had they like... crawl over Whoa. this uh this 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 large this like pharaoh. artifact of of like a fucking actual like tomb. They climb over it instead of going the other way, and then they yeah. Uh, I oh, I'm asked, really like... big. Hold on. I mean, again, I'm also very not... small. I should not be oh, bigger than. Nothing. I should not be bigger than the panther, though. You see. <laughs> no, that's making a good point. You're making a very solid point. In fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's the issue. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe that's you just need to be also. Maybe that was just maybe that was how how things went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, making the shortest person of the group the only human reference around really does make things complicated. Precisely. <laughs> what is it you need? Uh, I like made like a like a I broke one of those like crystal things. And I got a favor from the judge. I don't know if I asked like you or someone. I, I got free people I can let out. Oh, okay. They look over toward the cell you're beside of, and then they just twirl their staff. And you hear uh, some kind of a crackling sound as you look over toward the uh, toward the lock that seems to have frozen over. At which point, the cell seems to slightly open. Oh, oh okay, that works. <laughs> As they take their hand, slowly grip the door, as their eye looks wide to you. And this I one seems dangerous. Make... Closes the door. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. She's just depressed. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's, she's battling the depression, apparently. It's really strong, but, you know, she'll figure it out. Sorry, I do what you were make... going to do. Do you just interrupt speeches? Is that your thing? <laughs> oh, no, so that sorry. is my thing. Okay, just checking. You're good. Yep, we're good. I'll be perfectly fine. Very well. Okay, I'm here if you need me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think you have required emotional support. You should talk to your therapist. They stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it seems the battle of the monologue was too strong. I believe you are a strong, are a strong, silent type. Pat, pat. <laughs> Don't I do anything. Strong. Don't do anything that will get you back in the cell, okay? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Uh, and then uh, that fella over there with the cape. Yes. You see him, he is, he looks very calm. He's just sitting there, cool, collected. What if I just said, never mind, I want the bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, you are choosing the bird. <laughs> I, was I mean, the bird is like, like okay, now I'm thinking about it twice, hold on. <laughs> the water magician goes over toward the doors. They look in, they look over toward uh, uh, where Floth is, otherwise known as Indriel, as they do. Are you sure about this one? I mean, I don't know what else we should be worried about. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Okay. Same thing happens. A little trickle and a uh, <laughs> little twinkle, and then the cell slightly opens as the lot freezes. Oh. So you realized you needed my help. All right, then. He will come out very calmly like he was not begging to be released. <laughs> <laughs> I was not waiting at all. You find as you calmly and slowly make your way out, uh, there is a bump behind you 
and yeah. immediately flying out is Bobbity. <laughs> oh, hey, get back here! And Bobbity starts flying immediately to the exit. <laughs> yeah, baby violence! <laughs> hey, get back here! <laughs> oh, there she goes. It has chosen the battle of freedom. <laughs> I wish you luck, bird soldier. <laughs> it's really fast. Wow. Damn it! Now I'm gonna miss it. It's like it's or really like fast. It it's really fast. She'd probably catch up if she didn't start. If she didn't mm. keep on insisting on crawling over that tomb. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where she keeps crawling. <laughs> oh, it's the battle of rough terrain. Rough terrain. I mean, I guess you can battle rough terrain if you want, but I don't think you should, though. Is there anybody else that we're getting, or is it just the three of us? That's all I got. I got credit for. By the way, well, for those of you who are here. I have three things to pass out to you guys. <gasps> what? Things and stuff? I'm for, gonna, for you! I'm gonna put these over on your sections here. You guys can grab the one that corresponds with you. But uh, we have little, little spirit abilities for you guys. Oh, there it is! Look at them! They got skills! <laughs> Nice. You guys can use these uh, a number of times. We will determine those whenever you guys start adventuring. But I'd also like to give you guys one more thing. Mm hmm. Da, 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 da. Let me go and find. Where are you at? There you are. No one's a shapeshifter. Give me one second to get these in. In another, in another universe, we're just personas. Yeah, dude. Yeah. This is your psyche. You have three of us. I hate that my psyche is like a pan for a woman. Whatever the fuck's going on with her, and one fluff. <laughs> and fluff. <laughs> And what? Well, <laughs> that's what your card's called. At least that's what it is in the real game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Gregor, it seems your pun addiction is very strong. Can I fight it? <laughs> My what? <laughs> <laughs> your pun addiction is strong. Can I fight it? <laughs> Fucking oh, I, I, I got weaned oh off it in prison. God. It's fine. <laughs> you are a, you are a, you are a very crazy com combination of things <laughs> <laughs> don't worry i got i got over it in prison they don't let you have that in there uh, i see where they at? Is it in i guess dungeon? i must fight someone else with a pawn addiction does it have to be a pawn addiction apparently it's the strongest I've i feel like there's stronger cocaine. things than a pawn addiction there it is i found them okay to beat cocaine wait <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel like cocaine is pretty strong it wasn't that strong. You fought what? cocaine? Mm hmm. The 80s were crazy. <laughs> like all forms of cocaine or just a bad one? Two. No, several forms. They let me join the group called the Black Panthers. Oh, really? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been able to defeat racism yet, but we're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on that. Oh, yes, that battle is one I'm currently losing frequently. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, man. People treat, sexism, people, well. people treat panthers real bad. Yeah. I'd also like to give you guys your cards. Oh, hey. You guys have already seen these. I've already given them to each of you, but we will go over them each. Now uh, we can see each the, other's. For the peeps. <laughs> we have Elite Elf Knight. Uh, uh, He's so uh, fucking strong. <laughs> He could be a blue eyes. Once per turn, <laughs> when you roll a six out of die, this card gains th uh, attack times 300 and a level for each monster, uh, for each number rolled until the end phase. You can stack one monster in your hand or on your field uh, to lock this number in and keep the increase. Afterwards, this card is treated as a normal monster. So basically you can use its effect once uh, and uh, whenever you lock in, <laughs> whenever you lock in the thing, uh, it is it is dependent on what it is. So yeah. you can keep using it, obviously, but once you lock it in, it becomes. Once you a normal find a monster. good number, you can yeah. Yeah, very fun, very cool. 
uh he can get pretty high uh his spirit ability while exploring the spirit world you can perform a feat of strength or agility beyond your limits gaining advantage on uh on a roll uh on a roll then uh, it's supposed to be when using uh, a physical ability or physical activity uh and in a duel you can use this card to stop a monster from being destroyed in battle during the battle phase very fun very cool uh we have condemned maiden they're a spellcaster fairy tuner during your opponent's turn you can activate one quick play or speed spell card from your hand cool so that's pretty cool pretty pretty neat for for that kind of stuff uh they also have a 2000 defense as a three star that's pretty neat a bunch of pretty cool things uh, they can't destroy a blue eyes, but they have some other neat things. They got other things. They can make hand traps, which is you guys know and you understand how bad that can be. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> while exploring the spirit world, you can limit the corruption of various effects on your body, gain advantage on a save, or give yourself a small amount of vitality when under the effects of hazards or magics. Very neat. And in a duel, you can just draw a card. Yeah. Pretty fucking strong effect. Uh, we then go to Panther Priestess of the Red Desert. Holy shit, you're a priestess? <laughs> you, got, you got religion? Once per turn, you can stack a monster on your field uh, or in your hand under this monster, or you can stack one monster this card battles under this monster. When this monster, uh, when a monster is stacked under a card on your field, uh, inflict 500 damage to your opponent's life points. When this card is sent to the graveyard while cards are stacked under it, you can roll a six-sided dice and add um, uh, cards from your hand, from, uh, add cards to your hand for each number rolled. So you can stack a bunch of shit underneath her and then when she's gone roll a six-sided dice and you can add so many cards from that back into their hand okay, okay. and because you can add your the opponent's resin. monster to it that's that's pretty good <laughs> yeah, yeah that's pretty good the red desert top Spirit, uh, spirit they ability. call me top of the red desert while exploring this uh, spirit world you can uh you can show true force of will you can gain advantage on a check against any kind of magical or spiritual influence in a duel you can use this card to gain 800 life points or remove any reduction to an attack or defense of a monster for one turn i will say this to those of you who have these abilities in these cards you can use these uh gregor cannot however if you ever choose you can hand off one copy of your of your card to gregor you can be like, all right, boy, here you go. Here's your allowance. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. You want to hand off a copy to Gregor? Yes. There you go. Any of you oh, want to want to hand <laughs> any of you want to hand off a copy to Gregor? Do you guys just wanna just wanna hold off for now? It's a copy, right? Okay, got it. Here you go, small red. Oh, thank you. Is that oh, that's you. Yes. <laughs> I should have figured that's how it works. <laughs> Considering I got I got I got just to I got a card taken a little bit ago. <laughs> Here you go, Lily. A card taken. Oh, don't worry about it. You know, it's whatever. <laughs> okay. Yes, Panther Priestess seems to give you their card uh, as they do. You feel a strong amount of power coming from that card. You feel wow. as if that card itself is is very is very uh, spiritually charged. Well, this feels uh, this feels different than other cards I've held. Uh, because I'm strong. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. All right, understood. <laughs> makes sense. Sorry. What was that, Emerald? I had to get up for a, a second, but yes, he will also give his card to to Gregor. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Let me go ahead and make another copy. Do -do -do -do. There's a reason I'm not I'm letting you guys keep your one copy, so don't worry about that. Here you go, Gregor. There's another there's another card for you. Oh, thank both you. of those both of those are are uh, are dice rolling cards too. Interesting. Oh yeah, I, I'm having interesting how I did that. Here, dude. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of those for some reason. <laughs> uh, what about now, you, Lily? Do you want to or not? She will, but as she does, she is still keeping silent. Her one eye wide, her smile, <laughs> very normal. How are you passing Where... it over to them? I'm passing it like, well, the music is making me think Igor passing a card, but. <laughs> I'm passing it like it's a devil handing a contract. No. Do you That's accept? Scary. All right. <laughs> Do you accept that? 
I mean, that's scary, but so far, she we have seen her try to fight depression. It's not working. I'll take it. You have a decent number of quick play spells in your in your deck, right? You have like two. If not, if not, then I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I can look for the pile of cards I was given and see if there's anything good in there. Well, here's the fun part about her. And you guys might not have noticed this. Uh, I might not have noticed this or not. Um, you can't play speed spells in regular duels. Yep. You can if you have her on the field. Oh, baby. If I, was, <laughs> if I had all the cards from our team and it weren't over there, that'd be nice. <laughs> I just thought it was funny to bring up. I think it's good that you pointed that out. <laughs> I think it's a very good thing. And I get to use Ace Wing more because now I'm no longer stuck with being like, yeah, when I roll a dice, every five years I get to do so. So, uh, Gregor, now that you have all three of these cards, as long as these cards are in your deck, you can benefit from the effects of the abilities that the others have. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> they can choose when to activate that. But as long as you have Condemned Maiden in your deck, for example, you can do the thing where you can draw a card in a duel. Oh, same thing. Infinite obviously, power. same thing. Obviously, with Elite Elf Knight, and same thing with uh, Panther Priestess. Hell That's yeah. pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain about that. You just have to have them in your deck, though. Yeah, no, don't worry. They're all already in there. <laughs> I know. I know. To take at the hint when I get it. <laughs> As that happens, uh. You feel from these three cards, very strong, uh, very strong energies. You feel that it's very similar to the energy you um, uh, you felt whenever you saw Kate uh, with that summoned skull card. Oh, that feels, that feels familiar. I had a friend. I mean, I still have a friend. They haven't died, but you know, they, they kind of had like some kind of card and that kind of gave the same energy. I don't know if it's because you guys are standing next to me. Sorry, the room kind of skipped there for a second. <laughs> don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. Same energy? Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't really fully understand these, but it's like, you know, it's like there's really, really a card in there. I mean, I guess it would make sense because it's you and you're standing next to each other. Now that I'm speaking, I'm starting to understand things. <laughs> Thank you is what I mean. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> sorry, I had to look at the cards that I got from this gigantic pile that my friends got with a pile of cheese. I need to ask about that, actually. Ooh. Your friends got you a pile of cheese? Yeah, or? get get this, right? Dig this. My friends, what? <laughs> Was it good? The cheese was all right. <laughs> I was, I was, I, I got a little bit of sausage with it, and that made it really good. Oh, they'll move her. They didn't move her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's free, brother. <laughs> Wait, <damn second. laughs> As the eyes grow wide, you. Oh, I see the wet woman is coming with us. <laughs> Oh no, I'm staying right here. I wasn't chosen after all. Oh, you, but you are not one to let little things like that inconvenience you, are now, are you? <laughs> no, in this case, it is an inconvenience. She will stay. You'll <laughs> find someone else to corrupt, but this young soul here does not need you, demon. Do you, do you grab a Gregor? Yeah. Gregor, you feel uh, you feel very very hard scaly hands uh, uh, grab you and like hold you back from them. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I'm so protected right now. If you want to have relations, it will not be with a demon. We'll take you to a brothel anywhere else, just not with a demon. Oh my god! Can we not I'm... talk about this kind of thing? Let's. We Why does Arrow want to talk about my dick recently? <laughs> I like to think Audrey looks at him and goes, It just seems it's unfortunate, but it looks like we will depart ways for now. It was interesting meeting you. Oh, no problem. I, uh, understand. 
You were a very interesting partner. Of course, of course. They go to if walk out. <laughs> because the lock was broken, and then they start <laughs> then they start waking their way back to their cell. <laughs> At which Good point boy. they go up to their locked cell door and then they are inside. Any fucking time she could just teleport it out. <laughs> She's not strapped here. She just wants to stay here. That is the thing about their type. They act defenseless. They act like they need your help. But when you do... I'm sorry, miss. What's their type supposed to mean? Yeah, so what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> no, type. Like monster types. <laughs> <laughs> Never you mind. Aquas? <laughs> <laughs> Demons! Demons! She Those are fiends, that's different! Yes. She, she is water. Demons, fiends, it matters not. What matters is what they represent. So you are judging a book by its cover? To be, fair, to be fair, she's judging a book by what fucking happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> With I all know. of the jump scareness and stuff it was doing. <laughs> This shit was scary. And the fact that it I just have... freely walked around a place it was supposedly fucking sealed in. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> I guess she just showed her hand right there and it's me judging a book by its cover. I'm just calling it like I see. She has not caused a problem yet, so it's not a problem yet. <laughs> yet. Well, she's no longer our problem. Let's leave. Oh, and go do do whatever it is. The rest of her. Anyway, what should we be doing? <laughs> you just like you guys are talking, like Gregor's going for the cards that he got. It's like, oh, I haven't seen that one before. <laughs> oh, uh, little Red, what are we doing? <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah. We're we're the idea is we're making our way all the way over to the casino. Oh, you want to battle addiction? <laughs> I in a way, I suppose. So we're going with what I was asking you about yesterday. Good. We go from lust to greed, but if you're battling it, then I'll be more helpful than I thought. Though, I hope I can be as helpful as I can. But remember, if I am to succumb, do not hesitate, but I will do the best I can. That does bring something up. It does bring something up. You all feel, other than Gregor, because Gregor is not you, uh, you guys all feel that if there is ever something that you need, uh, if like you guys ever need to not be there, you guys feel you can jump inside those cards at any point. <laughs> Hell yeah. So you guys can just sort of disappear into Gregor's deck if you ever need to. Uh, we have a BRB. Uh, <laughs> you disappear. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh, hi. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold up. Okay, I'm back. She is having fun. Oh, many would like this guy. <laughs> You're just still looking at your cards. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, many would like this one. Oh, many would love this one. This one's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, uh, little red, little red. What? The, the plan. Yeah, we're going over there and we're going to show up. Hopefully, well, I'm not sure how we're going to do this part yet. I haven't planned that far. Uh, that seems like a very bad plan. <laughs> listen, let me, let me let me get there, all right? Mm -hmm. I know there's a path to that area. Yes. So we take it, yes. and then we find a way to get them to pass us someone from there that can come back here and check out whatever's going on with, with, with Mystical Elf. And while we're doing that, we figure out what's going on with this weird judgment thing. I see. That way, of information. If we get if we get that guy to at least like open the door or something, uh, we don't have to be stuck here specifically. Uh, I've mentioned this to you. Uh, I'm just gonna talk to Endriel here for a second. You yeah. do know that being a, a person as you are, that you used to. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna say everything that I sent you, but uh, you do know yeah. that. Interactions between these two factions are extremely rare and difficult because, again, each of them thinks the other one is trying to wipe the other one out. 
Yeah. They are two split off factions of the same elven society that used to be here, but one of them again is more in their ancient traditions where the other one is more in uh, uh, relations with uh, other people and exploiting greed. Yeah. But I just want to let you know. He will he will relay this history lesson to to Gregor about the the elves and the Oh, I'm being involved. <laughs> culture split between them oh well uh i mean i guess that would be weird so i mean at that point what what exactly do we do then we just be like all right we're just random people just showing up i mean that could work no this could work out very well actually oh a human from your world getting involved in this is actually could actually turn things into make things better than they currently are Oh, so I'm, I'm okay. All right, just to say in the way I understand it, I'm being used as a poker chip, right? Basically, yes. Okay, I'm following then. If it can bring peace to both of these factions, all the all the better. Having someone from there come over here to confirm that about the mystical elf, probably a good step in that direction. The issue is convincing both sides that they don't actually want to destroy each other. You can usually try and find a neutral place to meet. Neutral place. I mean, I don't, I don't know how that's gonna work out. I mean, it's either here or there. I mean, you could stand in the middle. I mean, the middle is fine. But Gregor, the middle is 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 uh, the domain of a my mushroom boy. I can't have that happen. <laughs> <laughs> if they see my mushroom, I'm gonna have to end it all. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill them all. <laughs> If you find a good neutral third party, that might help. I mean, you are third party currently. I mean, I'm the. I mean, I guess I can think of. No, that, that's not gonna work. I have no idea. Of, hold on, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Third party. I mean, there's some some people around here. I know at least one person that might work. Who? Oh, who's that and person? Two. Sorry, I had to think of the name Jane Homestuck again. <laughs> <laughs> you want to name them? <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting it to get this far. Uh, well, the other one, the, the raw student, they worked at the casino, so maybe that'll work. But then these guys might not like it. You're right. We that should, could we be a way in. Slightly. If not, hmm? We should change their name slightly. You're right. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Can't John, Jane Hamsteak. No, no, I got it. Okay, all right, let me hear it. Jane Hambone. There we go. <laughs> Jane Stuckholm. All right, that works. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, uh, Jane Stuckholm. <laughs> <laughs> she might be good. So either two might, might work fine if we, we get someone to agree on it. Now, that has, is the makings of a plan. Um... I told you I can make a plan. I can I can cook a plan up. Oh, good. And mm -hmm. while we're traveling, I will try and see if I can recover my lost memory. And what <laughs> shall I do, Gregor? You will accompany me and make sure I don't die horribly. All I will, right. I will bring up because I believe it is something that I that I did send uh, all three of you. I'm not sure if it actually mattered a lot to to you emerald but you guys yeah. all do know that uh the black smoke around here is something that it's that is affecting memory a lot and at least two of you are, are missing a rather rather large chunk of memory for now though i must prepare myself for seeing the sun once more this card has a lot of text <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I'm looking at Mal at Math Deal. <laughs> oh like, yeah, Math Deal's cool. This is just like reading it. He he I was a card text. that was that was in the final pack of the first campaign. Oh, oh neat. So like, Let whenever see. things were really crazy as well and <laughs> needed to be. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, this is like magic. -y. This is something that that Allison could use. That's cool. You <gasps> call this a lot of text? <laughs> yeah. 
You have not seen the textbooks that I have read. You have read. not seen the you Bible. Have not... <laughs> you have not read the Bible. Sorry. You have not seen the words I had to memorize. You know, there was this card on the meta that like whenever it attacked something and took it down, it got more damage based on the amount of attacks that it had. So that's interesting. <laughs> there has been a prophecy of spirits that will have two rows of text and during that time you will pray <laughs> that you will have a card like this again. No one's ever gonna add two rows of text. What are you talking about? You say that but next thing you know like something happens. Ignore what I just said. I mean, I mean, uh... You will know the pain of reading. If you add the, until... if you add the, if you add the bottom layer, I guess you don't have more than <laughs> you don't you you don't have more. But like looking at condemned maiden, like their text is pretty small. <laughs> yeah, she's just like I was born. <laughs> she knows the 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 harsh truth of I, she is oh, a card. I'm going, I'm going for the spellcaster needing to study and like. Oh, well, we can tell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I was more just now. looking at the text on your card because you're, yeah. you're you you yeah, have like it's... technically two lines of effect, but you do have <laughs> the the extra lines down at the bottom. A twenty day, and once that day comes, you will ask for forgiveness, for I was your oracle, and you. I'm actually kind of tired. I'm going in the card now. Good night. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, take care. Do you want to disappear like... into the car? Yeah. Jacqueline disappears. Okay. It seems, oh, that if, it seems that she could not battle sleep. I mean, can any of us really? Oh, that's what they train in the Red Desert. That's oh, what you train for. Remember to train for put, out the, things. put out the candle and to clean up all the ashes from my hand. No, oh, all right. I'm an elf, so I don't really sleep. I'm more trance than anything. <laughs> oh, you're transgender? Good for you! <laughs> no. Yes, congratulations on your transition. That... That's not what I said there. You said you were trans! Oh, no. like the magical swordsman? No. But that is the right spelling of the word. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting warmer. <laughs> If we work sleep. together, we can put this one together. <laughs> Elves don't sleep. Uh, I see. For the most part, we can. We don't need it. Anyway. I do sleep. Shall we leave this place? Or are you going to try to break more people out? Is it big um, enough one we can just leave? I'm gonna be real with you. I don't I don't think I have the ability to get more of those right now. I got oh, real lucky. I, I'm gonna get really anxious about this. Uh, but what? <laughs> you you said you don't know if you have one more in you. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm, I I had like an ability to do something maybe. I don't know, and then it's gone. I I I've got tired. Oh, I'm tired now. I was going to say if you could do it once more. I know that the um, those people over there and their leader might be helpful. <laughs> Uh, yes, brown, pink one. I sense immense strength. <laughs> very, very powerful. Huh? Very powerful. I'm really trying to move. <laughs> We're on the edge of the thing. You have to zoom in. Yeah. Uh, I am zoomed in. Oh, you do it. I got it. Also, I wanted to zoom in the picture a bit more for. Uh... Real. Nice. You know what? I'll oh, add no, Jammy. I'll, I'll, I'll add Yammy out. Ruler. It reminds me. It reminds me of a boy. <laughs> they don't need to blow out the <laughs> candles, bitch. Mm -hmm. You call her a bitch? Witch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Witch. You should enunciate. <laughs> Do not call me a witch. So, I mean, I guess you are, like, condemned maiden. There's nothing that's a witch around here. Hold on. I'm putting on my reading glasses. Uh, yeah, Wicked Elf for Black Forest. This isn't a, this isn't a witch. Huh. A condemned maiden it is. 
Witch of the Red Desert, that's a witch. What's her name? My sister. Your sister? <laughs> but that's a spellcaster, is that not witch? Well, that's a type. I'm reading the text, you know? <laughs> there, there's there's archetype, text. there's there's uh there's a type. Also, she is sister. Attribute. Uh, we're all in the red desert. And remember those stories I told the mushroom man. You will speak of them now. You've never seen the mushroom. You've never seen the mushroom. Uh oh, the mushroom is invisible to everybody except for Gregor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to BRB one more time. I have all good. Fine, I forgive fine. you. So Gregor, okay, is there any you but... want to you want to potentially talk with uh, some of the other people in the room to uh, aid you in your in your aidness? <laughs> yes. Where are you want to go? I need to go talk to people directly in front of us. So just, yeah. yes. You make your way across the room. I'm guessing the other three follow you, or one of them goes into the card. I, I don't know. It's something. something uh, you can figure out the logistics. Yeah, it's not yeah. my problem. So, yeah. As you guys go forward, you do find that there is a group of three people over uh, on the area to the opposite side uh one of them is uh is looking as if they are uh they're holding on to a uh, a boy who is still looking like they're asleep uh wearing some blue wearing some blue uh, outfits yada yada uh and the third the one that was freaking out a lot before seems to at this point just be kind of staring off uh around the area not really not really talking with either of them or doing anything as you approach, Jane seems to let uh, the other person um, uh, like go for a moment and make their way over towards you. Hey, thanks, by the way. Oh yeah, no, no problem. I mean, if it's all working out, it's all working out, right? <laughs> you have your spirit friends. Yeah, we're all pulled up now. Uh, I sorry, I don't know you guys. I was over here. It it is quite all right. Um. Call me Adria. Okay. Uh, Ad Adria? Adria, yes. Okay. And you? All right. You said you were going to be going somewhere. Thank you. Oh, he, uh, he is Andriel, you said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you, it's like you were here. <laughs> it's like you never left. <laughs> well, are you planning on making your way soon? Uh, uh, currently, at least from what I, currently, from what I understand, the only way that we can get to where you said that you guys were leaving at is by doing the uh well the ritual here but they won't let any of us do it then maybe if we start moving in the same direction we can we can solve that same direction well you can't do it here but maybe you can do it somewhere else oh you want us to make our way to uh the casino it would be really i mean maybe i don't know i don't want her to listen <laughs> i don't want her to have to like face her fears again i don't know what they did her <laughs> but uh, i'll go no she looks oh, back really? toward where you are uh, yes um uh she seems to gulp i left something behind there let's see you are very brave uh, hi. <laughs> hi. You I see them Audrey. actually make their way over to you. You're, you're like him. Like him. Uh, A friend of yours? Yes. Uh, he was. Um, he helped me leave there. Ah, oh, that is good. It's good to have friends like that. Is that what you have left, or? Yes. Uh, and, well, it's difficult to explain. Uh, all of you are cards in my world. Um, oh, uh, don't worry. I know about that. Okay. All right. We good. watched him look through a bunch of them and gave him our cards. It's okay, fine. Good. Oh, okay. yeah. It's so weird, <laughs> isn't it? Well, yeah. all of my Wait, things. Wait, I have two witches now. I can actually have her as a dual eye. -eye. Oh, it's all coming together. <laughs> all of my things are, all of my things were taken from me back there, <laughs> including all of my cards and uh, his as well. I needed to use it to get out, but I had to leave it behind. I see. So yeah, I that's like a big to, problem, yeah. I would like to get it back, if possible. 
I see. That is very brave of you, warrior in yellow. Sorry, I have to move a little. You're very big. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's been talking about it all night after you showed up. She was freaked out a lot by what you said, but she's been doing better? Better. 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 Yes. Yeah, that's not where we went up, right? Uh, I see a spirit of a warrior, one who chased freedom and now is going to complete her task. <laughs> that's good to hear. Uh, there is one problem with returning though yes what, what is it um there's a a spirit there that really likes me and well i don't want to do anything there <laughs> okay i understand everything all right <laughs> i don't know anything more um so if possible um, I'd like to, you, I may cause some problems there. They might want me to return. So if you're fine with that, I can go. Listen, you know, we may be slapping and raw, but us stool Academy people, first you just gotta stick together, right? <laughs> I was actually only recently promoted to raw, though, I guess, uh, I guess it isn't recent for you. The teacher there, I don't know if you know him, he was making a lot of students, or letting a lot of students go up into the raw dorms. Oh, I think I know him, yeah. So oh, yeah. I was <laughs> you see this dual fong? I, oh, yes. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, God. <laughs> it looks very similar to theirs, only red. <laughs> yeah, that's the only we want it. <laughs> you want it? Yeah. You took his oh. full body battle harness? When I took his full body huddle harness. <laughs> Why do you think I got thrown in here, baby? <laughs> yeah, baby. Well, oh, baby, it was more of like a more of like a team effort, but you know. You truly are a warrior, little red. Stealing another warrior's belongings. I mean, I didn't steal it. I I won it. Action. Winning them from battle and <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got them. it. That is a true warrior thing to do. So, you did stop him then uh it, if you're talking about him making like a i don't know like a raw superpower yes then he tossed me in here so oh okay so he's still at large a bit All right. yeah he's he, no longer at the school he found this well we found this tablet underneath the school uh it had some kind of a magician on it and like he, a guy with a little wizard on? Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, and he also found a bunch of cards, and one of them in particular seemed crazy. Uh, back then, I would have never thought about it, but according to the Chancellor's uh, reports and a lot of things he loved talking about, it might have been a spirit. And if I hadn't have came here, I might have never believed that. <laughs> it really is weird how this whole thing puts everything into perspective. <laughs> I need to return to the Chancellor and tell him that I believe him. <laughs> oh, he's a teacher now. He's not a Chancellor. <laughs> yeah, he's not a Chancellor anymore. He's, he's a teacher. They put this other guy in there. Oh. <laughs> but, you know, he's still, he's still he's doing still good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it turns out that he found, like, this whole, like, ring of things going on. And, and that was a whole thing, so, you know. I thought you were going to say he found Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he did not find Jesus. Actually, it's arguable that he's gotten worse. Yeah. Uh, for me, um, I will have to find somewhere to put him. She points over toward where Park is. He's really important to some of the guys I left behind. Uh, he was kind of a big deal where I was from, and he has a lot of information on this one really powerful duelist guy that we don't really know and his uh his tag partner has been really really going out for him like really looking for him they probably kiss <laughs> sometimes I, I don't, in the I, night in the, the desert you just hear I, I don't want to i don't want to assume but i i They've been really looking for him, so I need I mean, to make I mean, sure to get him I mean, love is love, right? If they're kissing or not, it's not what matters. It's exactly. about, uh, about the exactly. things you do. Yes, and while so I love can't... Love between two warriors is very strong. And while I can't get him back to the satellite, probably, if I can get him back to 
our world, maybe we can find a way to get him back to everybody else. They, maybe there's a way. Uh, there has to be some kind of way, right? So, if possible, I'd like to find somewhere to put him, or if we do go, we'll have to watch him. I... He walks sometimes, but he has never w said a single word since I've seen him. That's scary. <laughs> um, She'll go. You know what? If he, she can carry him, you go to pick him up, uh, mm. uh, uh, Adira. Yeah, Adira. Adira. You go to pick him up, Adira. As you do, you do find that as you like move him at all, he does seem to somewhat stand. As you go to pick him up, his legs seem to move, his muscles tense, and he stands in front of you. And looking at his face, he seems completely out of it still, though. It seems his body retains reaction to the world, but not his mind. Strange. Apparently, he was holding on to a super powerful deck, and that... Uh, I don't know. He was with this other guy who was a part of... Uh, these people called the Harbormen, and he was really strong. Like, I've seen some strong people here, you, uh, some of the other spirits, but this guy, he had a really strong spirit. Oh, so this was like a, like a big fella. Yeah, apparently he could just sort of decide that he wins. <laughs> Oh, that's scary. <laughs> How is that legal? I don't think it was. <laughs> oh. But he almost killed like a couple of my friends. So, well, I, they weren't my friends at the time, but they became that. <laughs> it got better. That is very dishonorable. Yeah, he was really scary, but we're all supposed to work together now. She says out loud toward the other three in this area. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be working together now. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were having like a moment. I don't know why they're doing that. <gasps> Y'all should take the lady's hint. The three of them look at each other. You find that uh, both Kenneth and uh, Bunny just sort of like glare. And then you see Clint. There is no working with the, between us. For once the great Leviathan approaches, the others will be of no consequence. So the three of you are agreeing that you should not work together, which means you are working together by agreeing. Can I speak in Gregor's head in the card? Sure. <laughs> See what happens when you let corruption take. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you're you're in my head. All right, go on. Uh, sorry. Don't, I, don't I, scare I, me like I, that. I haven't. When people don't, whenever people speak in my head, when people don't, it's usually not good. And yeah, no, chat, they're I'm talking not... about, they're talking about, uh, Patch, yes. Anyway, <laughs> keep going. Don't worry, I'm not here to corrupt you, I just want to remind you. Oh, I didn't think that was the case, but alright, go on, baby, what's up? To follow those like the great Leviathan, you become less human, less cooperative. It's sad, isn't it? Do you want me to, like, relay this, or, like... <laughs> I will no. say for I will say for you, Lily, just because you brought that up and I I didn't think anything of it to bring it up to you, but I think I will let you roll. Uh, go ahead and give me a uh, a uh, a uh, possibility check. Roll me with a plus four instead of a plus five. Oh shit! Okay. Possibility. Whoa. Possibility. The possibilities are endless. Uh, yeah, um, you're not sure if they're talking about the same thing, uh, that you do know, um, uh, but, uh, Jacqueline, the Great Leviathan is a, uh, is a thought in your head. There are several, um, uh, supposed rulers of the sea, as far as the, um, uh, the elemental planes and the higher planes are concerned, um, the Great Leviathan, at least from what you understand, is an is a completely ancient being, but on the same level as you would think as the, the great shattering that has happened to this world. Uh, the Leviathan that you can think of in your head potentially has the same weight to it as somebody mentioning Zork. 
The great Leviathan. Even if I don't remember much, I can feel their immense weight on this world. For an example, just so just so uh, just so you would know, because again, you would know this. I'm gonna give this to you with that 18. You should have had two more rolls. We're gonna hold on to the um, but uh you would know that there used to only be two large connected spirit worlds. The Great Leviathan created the elemental planes, which is the largest of the spirit worlds. <laughs> Grip's head, though Gregor can't see this. That's right. There were two realms, weren't there? Before the Great Leviathan made the elemental realm. Oh, what? This, this is a Leviathan thing made? The, what we're standing on right now? That looks like this, this, this bottom or we said are we still only number i'm not really sure watch how much you admire them don't forget your humanity i'm just saying it's a big thing <laughs> <laughs> man it's like someone saying oh oh he built the biggest tower in the world and i'm like what's well, a big tower it's like don't listen to him he killed children when he was 19 i don't know <laughs> That's not the thing that I'm trying to talk about. It's the, they wouldn't kick children. They ate them in ritual sacrifices. Well, that's very bad. <laughs> Gregor, are you going insane? Oh, you're going to see him like 404. He's not talking to anyone. He's just staring in the void. Hold on. I want to make sure I blew out the candle anyway. I'm coming out. Okay, she's coming out. Okay, I did blow out the candle. Anyway. <laughs> I want to be like, I'm going out, I'm there. gay. You who worships the great Leviathan, come forth. You call out the person from the inside of the uh, of the area. For a second, you just hear, oh, fuck, uh, I mean, what? What could you possibly wish to speak to me about? Look at yourself. Look inside of yourself. Is this the you that you wish to rot with you when you decease? What? <laughs> when asked for help, this is the reason you will deny them? <clears throat> And when you go to your grave after the afterlife, <laughs> when you see the people that mourned your death, how many will there be truly there... if you act this way? It's fine. There will be none anyway. I've already been cast aside by this world. Only the Leviathan is for me. <laughs> well, that Levi is not true. The Leviathan does not mourn. The Leviathan does not see you. We do, they do, and all they see right now. Well, it's not a human, that's for sure. Which is a pity for humans. Humans could be great creatures together, but if you want to be alone, then I hope that when you die, you will feel fulfilled despite the little noise there was during your funeral. Romy. As we are talking here, go ahead and roll me for a uh, for a poise uh, or politics check, both of which uh, poise would be a plus three. Politics would be a plus four. I'll go with the plus four. I'm being mean. There's no way this bitch is a plus three in poise. <laughs> Well, the poise is uh, a way to show your demeanor, not always a way to be like, oh, that person's pretty good. It's also a way of that person's terrifying. You know what? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Oh, Continue. Just understand you've seen her in prison. So you're 
you've seen the side of her that's barely had any sleep has just been burning her fucking head in a candle for entertainment this has also been a very new thing for them uh but you know <laughs> as you say that he looks over to you <laughs> he looks to the guy to his to his left and he gets closer to the to the edge as he does he seems to call uh the two of you closer mm-hmm As he gets closer to Kenneth, Kenneth's just like, yeah, get out of here. I don't want to be around you. <laughs> no, he got closer to me. <laughs> hey, listen, this is, I, I'm not actually, uh, I didn't even know that was a thing. All right. I, we, we just, we just say these things. It is okay. So what is your name first? Uh, look, I, I'm, my name's Clint. Uh, okay. I, 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 I was sent to the satellite um, uh, because I, I did some bad things, um, mm -hmm. but it, it wasn't like big or anything. Um, this great Leviathan stuff, that's just that's just our, our thing, you know? It, it's, 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 a, it's a big joke. It, we just go, go sort on, of on, all on. talk about it, 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 it is all. It's not Clint. real. Clint, Clint, you have heard this woman talk about the great Leviathan in great deep detail. It is real, and you invoke his name so loosely. Uh -huh. And because of that, there may not be a single person there for your funeral. You do not want that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I'm sorry. I have, heard, I have heard of those that have followed, not because they believed, but because of the commitment they put to it they back down now it would be against their own nature until one day they truly did believe because the alternative was to live a fool but the, they chose the more foolish option of course listen my my leader uh, she's working for other people now um she was she wanted us to all have fun. Uh, while we were in the satellite, we were able to get our families involved and, and sort of just uh, have like little adventures to take our minds off of everything. We went around to the underground finding many things and we all sort of played like this the entire time. She did mention that they took it a lot more seriously uh, back on the mainland, but um. If all of that is true, uh, there's a lot more people that are wishing for that on, on, on mainland, uh, in my world. Uh, you're hearing some of this, Gregor. I'm hearing this. <laughs> they are, uh, more invested from what I've been told. And listen, um, I actually don't mind these guys over here, but, uh, I'm kind of afraid of them. They're they're like actually gang members, you know? Cool. Clint. <laughs> Clint. You should not show fear. After all, you chose and sought out adventure. Did you not? Yeah. Yes. And you had people around you, those who inspired you confidence, correct? Yeah, they were There were there were a couple who were really great, yeah. Yes. And they have inspired you, correct? If not, you would have not continued using the name Leviathan, correct? Yeah. Right now, these two people, they may be gangsters, but they are scared. They have no leader. They choose to infight. But you have seen leadership. You know what you want to do next. And you are the only person who sees reason within this cage. You have to be the leader. Make them see reason. Panther. Yes. I would like you to roll me a plus five, please, for your oh, cool. uh, for your uh, demeanor, not your demeanor, for your negotiation stat. These yeah. guys are good at this. I, I, just, I just imagine these like, guys are going spirits. Back. They they have high stats. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just, no, no, I was just being like these guys are too good at talking. They're making this work. <laughs> Rolling. Uh, 19. 
They also have extremely low stats. We'll talk about that later whenever I yeah. actually give you guys your stats. <laughs> I assume I'm playing another character with brittle bones. They look to you. They look down toward their dual disc as they do. They give a nod and then they look back toward the other two. So I should maybe try to convince them to work well with these people then. Correct. Okay. And you, all of you are planning on getting, getting us back to the satellite or where, where are they wanting to go? Our leader Gregor currently wants to, first of all, make sure the people can get back to safety. However, it requires negotiations. Oh yeah, we're trying to kind of, we're trying to kind of dangling this mouse right now. Right, well, anywhere's better than here. Uh, I will try to convince them. Try is all you must do, but succeed is what you will do. You're strong. Don't forget that. Right. I, I will succeed. Good. He gives a nod, at which point he turns with a flourish of his cape. Perhaps we have had uh, a bit too much leisure time in this cell. Uh, see Kenneth look over at him. Perhaps we need uh, a bit of uh, time between the three of us. He will walk away and look as if he's going to to chat with the other two. <laughs> kind of puts their cold fingers on Gregor's shoulders, then leans in. <laughs> Why is he doing <laughs> a voice? <laughs> I think he's doing it to feel real big. I don't even talk like this either. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if I talk like this, people wouldn't take me seriously. I do not understand you humans. You guys uh, seem to have potentially uh, at least started some kind of a solve to this uh, this cell here. Uh, I can't believe that, that two spirits have fixed a gang problem. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you when we needed you, man? I wasn't almost... trying to fix anything. I was trying to be mean. <laughs> I was being the good cop. <laughs> but yeah, all Can of I the rare all you? the rare hunters in the satellite are literally just like LARPers. Yeah, we're just LARPing, yeah. dude. What the fuck are you guys doing? They just, like, you guys actually do crimes. They were just <laughs> under the satellite trying to get rare cards, and he was just sitting here like, fuck, I am stuck in a cell with two actual gang members. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Which is really because of all the gang members. It's like when we were children and we would play office worker or fast food worker. What were you saying, Aaron? I was just going to say, it's, it, it's kind of funny because like in the satellite at certain points, people were scared of rare hunters because magic. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all just a big front by the rare hunters. They aren't shit. I mean, the only is... thing that, the only thing they have for them is they have like the cloaks that protect them from spiritual influence that's yeah. literally mm -hmm. all they got <laughs> that's and why he's literally sitting cards. here like he's the, he's like literally sitting here as the only one of the three that knows that there's like an actual strong magic presence around them <laughs> <laughs> he's like oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck oh shit oh fuck oh shit oh fuck well that was in, that was interesting didn't yeah, think those no three kidding. would actually talk to each other. Yeah, it takes one person to encourage, well, inspire bravery. Man, it takes one person to scare the shit out of them. Exactly. Good job. Hopefully we yes. can inspire you more. Did good, Greg. Oh. I hope. What, what did I do? <laughs> continue. Goes I, into I, the card. I was, I was talking to her. <laughs> I don't know. I, all right. Well, she is one of those who can't take compliments. I, I, I think so. I think you might be onto something. I believe that is that is a battle we must fossil through. Should we talk to any of the other people here, or? Oh, uh, the very strong pink one. Uh, I'm thinking. Because the thing is, we can talk. I mean, there is one person I need to talk to. Hold on. Okay, even though this isn't the character, the characterized character just in your head. Read the Bible, read the Bible, read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, do you wanna, who do you want to go talk to, Gregor? 
I need to confirm something. Where's my coin? Okay. I mean, that could work. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had this. Forgot yeah, I have my here. decision making coin. <laughs> that I make decisions oh, I... with. <laughs> I mean, I do have. I'm interested in actually talking to the pink bastard. But I also <laughs> want to check something with Elf. So, what I'm going to do. Uh, we'll go heads for Elf, tails for, for Irby. <laughs> Who's Kirby? Irby. Well, it sails for Irby. <laughs> you all move your way down to the next cell in your in your in your uh, in your cell spree. <laughs> As we love. Go down on one knee to show respect to Kirby. <laughs> one second. There we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you know, sure. He will follow her lead on this because he is, in fact. A, an elite guard. Hold elite, up. Uh, wow, that, that was gonna echo. I don't need echo. Night. There we go. Hold up. Don't You're step holding... any closer. Whoa. All right. Echo. Holy shit. There. Yeah, yeah. You need to get that fixed. We are not quite ready to make our way out of here. What is going on with you? What, what's what's happening? Why are you getting close to our? Why are you getting close to our demisile? Oh well, it's not. We're not trying to do anything like. Like, serious, we're just passing by. Uh, Are you trying to do something to the captain like you did to the others? I... I did something to what? We saw the magic you pulled on the other cages, bringing everyone to your side. The yeah, captain we would never fall just... for such things. I believe if your captain is very strong-willed, then they would reject that proposal themselves. They are the strongest you speaking for your, you speaking for your captain is very dishonorable. Why else? I agree. Yeah, I don't think he likes that. <laughs> you've made your way around to every single one of these places. You've talked to all of those who have been stuck here, and you brought them all with you. You've even talked to that demon on the other side. She's very scary, I'll tell you that. And do um, not think we didn't notice you speak to the one that none has, that none has mentioned. We saw the wave he gave you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Listen, listen, I, I, I need you to not bring that up. <laughs> I need you to not bring that up. It's not for me, it's for them. The guys is violent. <laughs> and why should I do that? What do you intend for us? I mean, let's talk. I actually don't know why you guys are stuck here. <laughs> well, if you need to understand, we are a... Uh, I suppose you would find that we are a scouting force that was sent in that was sent in from our uh, from our domicile of home, the realm of battle. Uh, that place sounds fun. It was an interesting place, full of war between three uh, between three factions. However, it was settled in a less uh, than interesting way by a bunch of kids who made their way there. However, that was only the start of us. We had a ruler that had brought itself in front of everyone. It allowed for us to show our new potential. And because of that, we followed that ruler. They said that we would make our way into the forest. And when we did, we have found ourselves here. But we're not, if it was not for the captain, we would have been taken entirely by that black smoke, as well as those crystals. Whoa, your captain can actually like touch those? <laughs> The captain completely obliterates them. He is far too powerful for this realm. I told you he is very strong. I can sense his strength. Wow. Oh, that, that, that's interesting, actually. Hold on. That's a that's a big important thing to note. The captain had once infiltrated the enemy lines back in the realm of battle. He had shown himself as a enemy leader of sorts. But we all knew the truth. The captain would never disobey him and would never go against us. Could it be all right if I, if I talk to your captain? I suppose if the captain would like to speak to you, we shouldn't worry much. That being said, I would like all of you to understand. None of your mind tricks will work on us. 
we have our we have our helmets on that completely negates any sort of interaction with you not to mention not even the air we breathe here is truly beyond us thanks to our respirators we are perfectly safe this is very good health is very important you are fighting a very good fight and as you said the captain is far too strong to fall to anything but if we see you messing about if we find the captain is in danger we will not hesitate well, well all right i mean i mean your captain's real strong and such i don't know if we can do anything to him he's gonna have a, a conversation between equals here hmm. i suppose captain if you would like these people would like to speak with you you find that he steps to the side as he does <laughs> you find a little a little captain uh you see captain Poyo. uh he, he currently looks as if he has a science soldier uh helmet on uh but no respirator <laughs> doesn't need to breathe it's fine <laughs> uh, nice to meet you captain Poyo. Poyo. Oh, it's very bad. Can we like, can we like interface? Like, are you actually stuck in here? You see Captain Poyo look around, uh, see the area. He goes forward and starts touching the, the gate. Uh, the gate is locked. He looks to it. He looks back to you. He shakes his head. Poyo. Oh, you can actually leave? Roll me demeanor. <laughs> <laughs> if there is a time to use inspiration, <laughs> God has given it to me. I, I kind of, now that I've put the three of these, I kind of want to make this as stupidly dumb as possible and put one of these too, why not? <laughs> uh, upon using that, like, it, uh, like I mentioned to you guys before, it does, if you hit the plus one or the H, it does negate your, uh, your, uh, your negatives. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so let's, let's push through, baby. We can roll higher than a three. So the H means that you are rolling with a plus one. We get a plus two, plus three, plus four, 17. That is a 21. You see Captain Poyo begin to step back slightly. And as he does, Andriel and Adira, you guys sense great danger. <laughs> yeah, that's rules. He quickly grabs Gregor and pulls him. Oh, I'm moving now. I'm a, I'm a guy who's moving places. Oh, here we go. <laughs> as you see, Captain Boyo begin to inhale as he does a large amount, almost like a tempest of wind appears in front of him. <laughs> Coming through the um, uh, the netting of the um, uh, of the gate and looking as if it begins to distort the metal in front of it, you hear from the other side. Oh my God! <laughs> as she looks like she's starting to come, and then she stops because she starts getting pulled in. She grabs the tree. <laughs> you she hear crawling around it. You hear breaking coming from the tree. <laughs> I've only heard rumor oh. of the chaos <laughs> being the one that fought death. The one this thing that... is powerful, man. <laughs> What's up? Andrew's not going to allow an elf to be sucked in like this. He's going to help her. What do you want to do? He's going to essentially, with all the strength, just dive and try to get her far out of the um out Six of the one. suctioning okay uh we're gonna have you roll me for your strength this this isn't the this isn't the highest stat that your that your thing has but it is relatively high roll me a plus four yay i like to think the you say the poyo law is when the darkness of um zok was created the light <laughs> poyo existed as well <laughs> this would be the funniest thing if i fail here Oh. It was almost a 20. Roll you me one more. Oh, I hate it when it that almost fucking a 20. Almost Every 20. time when the nat 20 just gets... <clears throat> okay, so it's still a 20. It's an unnat 20. 
I'm not I'm not, we take those. You see the um, uh, again uh, the the snapping of the of the um, of the uh, tree as you find water magician looking like they're about to they're about to cave through they're about to fall in. You put Gregor off to the side where the um, uh, where the um, uh, the um, uh, the uh, tablet and not the tablet the um, tomb is. As you do, you dive forward with an absolute just just ex- just very extremely quick movement. You dive forward, you jump, and you tackle. The water magician off of the tree and the two of you roll to the other side as you do the tree does look like the branch that it was holding seems to give way and make its way toward the tempest as it hits the uh, as it hits the doorway you find that the door seems to go off of the hinges oh. and as it does the tree the door the uh, bits of the metal around it begin to all get sucked in toward lloyd porio at which point he looks like he is about double his size which is not as much things as he just inhaled he steps forward as he does he looks around and he just sort of sits there with a large um, uh, amount of stuff in his mouth (laughs) we're free is it done men surround surround the captain Your captain's real powerful. <laughs> captain, <sighs> what is it you what is it you plan to do? Are you going to do what you did before to the to the realm bet- to the realm that we had seen? Mm. I I think his mouth is full. Everyone get in mean... the room. You don't want to see what the captain can do with this. Uh, Alright, I'm moving out. However, moving out. you will bear witness. Is it explosive <laughs> and dangerous? You just hear point, 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 point. They start walking. They look over toward where the two of you are. Uh, as uh, as Endriel, you see it walk over toward where you and Water Magician are. It goes over. It pats you. <laughs> like good, like saying good job. <laughs> I would pat back, but I don't want to risk it exploding. <laughs> it pats Water Magician and then it steps forward. You guys see it get to where it's in front of the large door that is off to the north of this place. As it opens its mouth, a, what you can only imagine is a radiant star (laughs) gets fired out from its mouth. It can shoot stars. And seems to blow apart the door in front of it. I I told you he was very strong, Gaga. I mean, I figured he was strong, but not radiating the star from his mouth, sorry. You guys see, um, as this happens... <laughs> poverty fly out and away. Freedom! <laughs> it, it, was, it was perched up like on top of like this arc right here. Hey, you waiting. get back here! <laughs> so... Um... um fine, 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 this fine, water fine, bitch, fine, are you alright? Uh, I'm, I'm, yes, I'm. I'm perfectly fine. Thank you, prisoner. Or, I guess you're not a prisoner anymore. I'm not, thankfully. <laughs> Although you might become one, water magician. Oh yes, de- definitely. I'll put myself in a cell very soon. Probably not. You, you should value your freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Things happen outside <sighs> of control. You shouldn't be the one that's punished for it. Remind them not to be tempted by the. What a temptress. As you do see uh, the captain, Captain Poyo, looking over toward Water Magician, it goes back toward the science soldiers. Bio! 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 Are you, sh- are you sure, Captain? Bio! 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 Hmm. All right, men, you heard him. The three of them walk back into the destroyed, uh, the destroyed cell, and Captain Pollo goes and stands in the middle of them. <laughs> Nothing is keeping them in, <laughs> but they don't want they don't want Water Magician to be in trouble. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> He's a good man. <laughs> He's a very honorable man. He's very honorable. Truly, a man of the people. Is the best of us. Truly. <laughs> I could use something like him in the elite knights. <laughs> I didn't want to be a better man before now. 
Uh, is there anything left for us to do, Gregor? <laughs> I think that's everything. Are you, are you sure you don't want to talk to your friend of the darker complexion? I mean, by the way, she's something. still asleep. Oh, she's asleep. <laughs> I can't do anything. Oh, she, like, she was able to sleep that. through all of that. Oh, at this point, we should. Um, what is north of there, um, this water magician? Uh, that's the ritual site. Um, that's where you would go to um, uh, perform the ritual to make sure that you are worthy of, of crossing into the other world. That is where the scar of the, that is where the scar of that uh, of the desert beyond have made its way. Hmm. However, there is a large amount of um, black smoke in that direction. That is why you have to make sure that you can pass through with the trial. I'm very worried about that bird. Oh, it is fine. It is a bird. I can't tell its strength. <laughs> well, it's, it's chosen its battle, you know? I would, even though you have now opened that way, I would very much recommend not going there unless you are, unless you are able to pass the trial. I don't think I want to test it. I'm going to be honest with you. But you're not going to flip your coin? <laughs> no, you say it. <laughs> That's I will say hand. you just find you just find uh, Jane go over and like put a hand on your coin hand. You just like <laughs> put it down, put it down. If I'm we... all for gambling, but please, not this. We need to get to where you need to go. He says, correcting himself. We had said that we wanted to help by going and finding what uh, what she had lost, right? Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. We shouldn't do that. I should. That was, that was a lapse in judgment. Uh, <laughs> that was a severe lapse in judgment. Let's start moving before I can think about it. All right, we're moving in this direction. Triggering your addiction. You guys see peeking in from the from the northern area. <laughs> and now you see, Gregor, that temptation is not just a buzzkill. We should walk faster. Dangerous. You see, pe you see peeking in, just looking at the destroyed like front door they have. The goddess with a third eye, just like looking like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just notices the missing door there. Hi. The rip hinges. <laughs> Good luck, miss. <laughs> oh, you want to come with us, water magician, so you don't get yelled at? Oh, uh, I... Mm. Looks around, sees, where, sees Captain Poyo. I should be fine. Understood. You take care. You are always very nice to talk to. Wait, <laughs> do they promise to punish me? <laughs> As you guys go to, go, to, uh, go to leave, you do find that water magician does seem to stop Endriel. As they do. Um, take this. Hmm. They hand you their staff. Are you sure? <laughs> they then seem to twirl their hand as a um, uh, as a new uh, as a new staff appears in it. Thank you. He will the, take the staff. You take one. He also has my staff. phone number. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a phone. <laughs> my fax. <laughs> my pager. <laughs> You know where I am at. <laughs> mm -hmm. Goes drinking and driving to get arrested to see her again. <laughs> As you guys go to make your way, uh, I'm guessing at this point you guys are bringing Park with you. Yeah. <laughs> Park just sort of walks behind you guys. Like that's scary. <laughs> he just seems to be walking with you guys. I'm guessing that like one of you is just like hand on the shoulder. Like, come on, buddy, keep keep up. <laughs> keep, keep going, keep going, buddy. You go this way. You can do it. Good job, little blue warrior. You guys make your way. At this point, you guys are in this section. Do you guys want to stop for anything or do anything like that? I need I need to attempt something. I need to go back to that cheese. <laughs> You make your way to the cheese. As you do, you see that first, the room is empty. Huh. A second off, there is still two um, uh, two wheels of cheese, one stacked on top of the other. I'm wondering. I should have wondered. I can't ask her she's gone, but I don't... I mean, if this is here, then I should be able to send a note back somehow. <laughs> But how? But how? Is it the cheese? Is the cheese magic? <laughs> Wait, 
if cheese brings things here, then maybe wine will. <laughs> you know what? That might be it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna go reach for the wine. You make your way to the wine. As you do, you pull out a bottle of, of, of wine uh, from the rack behind. It seems to be of an age. You're not sure. They have a negative on there for some reason for the age <laughs> in front of a bunch of numbers. That's weird. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is negative wine. That's what they <laughs> It's okay. like there's like a negative sign in front of the year. That's kind of weird. Anyway, <laughs> does anyone have like a like some kind of like thing to write with? People begin no to one. check their no. pockets. At which point, <laughs> I have this. I have this this notepad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That'll do. Hold on. All right. I I hope they receive this. Uh, hey everyone, it's your boy Gregor. I'm good. Thanks for the cards. <laughs> uh, do you want to say anything to anyone? They're my friends. They're fine, but I don't know if you have like any standing business outside. Do you guys have anything you want to say to to Gregor's friends? <laughs> uh, <laughs> stay strong. <laughs> I was talking to the raw girl, but you know what? That works too. Uh, well, I I don't really know your friends i'm sorry <laughs> well yeah but i mean you might know someone there and they can tell them if they've not all exploded uh, if they know if you have any friends and and you know in, in dual academy i'm uh, not really <laughs> okay all right then i have a request all right i'm listening find a witch who curses with scales all right, I'll put that over here. Find a witch who curses with scales. <laughs> I don't know who they are. She doesn't know who they are. And then I'm gonna point. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a little little sign over that message, and I'm gonna be. That's my new friend, by the way. <laughs> not me. I'm fine. I'm not being cursed by a witch. Do not give in to temptation. Resist the demons. Give in to magic. Magic can destroy the demons. Don't get into know. demons. <laughs> hmm. You guys also take note. Park begins to move. <laughs> What's Park oh. doing? I believe he. What are you doing? Watching a little. Chase. <laughs> you see Park make their way over toward the wheels of cheese. He takes a pack off of his back and puts a wheel of cheese in it. As it's like he then starts to leave. Ma <laughs> but, like magic's okay though, Emerald's character. I I'm starting to see how you got cursed. Park was like, even even inside their brain, he's like, that's like three thousand dollars, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I gotta grab that. I've never had cheese before. That's smart of him. This. <laughs> That's like three hundred. He's a har He's snow. a harborman. He was a high up harborman. He's like, I could sell that shit so high. <laughs> you were buying that cheese down there. Cheese can be quite valuable. He seemed to only take the top layer. He's in the, he did, he left the one that had the big chunk missing. Damn, oh, this dude hustling. I have one more message. Like, all right, you really pushed it here. Let's hear it. Beware the giant rat. Hey, they seem to say a giant rat thing to you. That was weird. Whatever the giant rat thing is writing this on, whatever the giant rat thing is, apparently it's also real here. So, so I mean, beware I mean, it. I don't remember much about it. I just remember fear. Jane also, it. Jane also takes the other wheel of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another piece of paper. I need to restart this letter. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> All right. Hi guys, it's your boy Gregor. Ignore the first letter I sent you. <laughs> I love the idea that you will still will still put that letter down as if to For context. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm fine. I'm trying to find a way out. Uh, there's a girl here from Raw. If you guys find anyone who's been missing like nine months ago by any chance, uh. Maybe let me the other teacher know. And and uh thanks for the cards. 
Also the cheese, apparently it's really popular. <laughs> okay. I think you, it's good. You want to set the wine down? If you're down? doing this, yeah. if you're doing this, then for the first letter, you should put a one, then a slash, then a two. And for the second letter, you put a two, a slash, and a second two. I'm going to just put it over the first letter so they don't see the first one immediately. <laughs> you place the line just... where the two wheels of cheese were. Yeah. You stare at it for a minute as nothing happens. You do and find gone. that your raw friend goes over and picks up the large chocolate egg. <laughs> <laughs> and gone. Du, du, du. <laughs> right, I'll take the sausages and some meat. <laughs> By the way, Gregor, the gone. sausages have uh, gone back to being a full length of sausages. Despite How did that the fact, happen? Despite the fact you have eaten some of them. <laughs> How did that happen? You take the croissant. <laughs> croissant. Croissant. Very good. Very nice meat. Taking as you like well. look back at everybody like taking things from the thing you look at the sausages like how you look back toward where the wine was it's gone it's gone oh there it goes yeah <laughs> the cheese and... of course the cheese and wine switch a classic amongst mages if you were to drink the wine would it just get out of your stomach and just be like a pool or would it like I don't want to find out, actually. I think I'm good. I have an idea. If you want to find out, <laughs> what is I it? Actually... <laughs> she puts, she she goes over and sits Park on the thing and then turns away and then turns back. I don't think it worked. Oh, well, maybe uh, we give him some is. wine. <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to be holding a wine bottle or have a wine spilled okay, over Okay, hold him. on. <laughs> Wait, hold on, you should. <laughs> she goes and gets two bottles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold this one. Well, you know what? This will be a learning experience for Gre you, Gregor, for when you get into the art of magic. Uh, okay. Everybody turn away. Okay. Uh, all right, I'm turning. Turn back, Park's still there. Uh, okay, I'm going to pour you know this one on him. Did... <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. We're moving on. <laughs> You're just over there. Just over there, Jacqueline, watching them trying their best. And if you have a piece of paper, I want you to write down why the first one didn't work. They then start pouring the wine on top of Park. <laughs> All right. Okay. They turn away from Park. All right. Jacqueline, are you turned away as well? Uh, I'm in the card. Oh, you're in the card. I thought yeah, you were you're vibing in there. Okay. Uh, you I'm guys look back. Park Gregor's is gone. Head. All right. Let's try. What? <laughs> See, it's now, required some wine. And. After you finish describing why the first didn't work, explain why the second didn't work. Okay, how do I explain if it did actually work? You have to explain to me why it worked. What was the difference? Come on. We dipped them in wine. We baptized them. I mean, if that's the case, we can just send you back with wine. <laughs> we tried it until my head is covered in wine. <laughs> How much magic does the human world teach you in an elementary school level? Little. Zero. Zero? Oh, I'm going to have to start from the beginning. All oh, right. Um, All right. Mary Band of Heroes. Let's move on. Before you just, I see, you just see Jane sit down and pour the rest of the wine on their head. <laughs> she waits there for a while. She looks to you guys, you guys turn away, and she just sits there. She goes back, she picks up a thing of wine as well, sits down, you guys look away, you look back, she's still there. She's just like, it's not working. I think the wine is sexist. It's not working right yeah, now. I think it, it was because he was emotionally empty. So what, he was like an object? So what, I have to close my Possibly. eyes? Possibly. No, 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 you can try. <laughs> you, you think of yourself as human. He was just okay. moving. Okay, okay. You might have to transfer some of this knowledge to them if you want to, Gregor. All right, so I'm going to... Oh, don't worry, I'll talk at you. You can remember as much as Shall you can. Shall we get to I'll moving? I'll test. 
We should probably get moving. Yeah, let's move. All right. Yes, let's move while I give you the basics. So first, let's oh, pair of those stars. Yeah, I'll be right there. Uh, you guys close the door. I'll be right there. Uh, all Unless right. I disappear. I'll get you. Okay, I'll let you know. You guys exit. <laughs> you wait there for like no. a minute. She Do comes you know walking why? out. <laughs> Covered in wine. Do you know why the star's alignment of your birth gives you special powers? <laughs> Oh, you're one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're one of those. <laughs> they didn't teach you about star alignment. Come on, that's basic. Uh, they did, but we all thought it was stupid. By the time <laughs> you guys get out this time, you do see at the end of the hall, looking back towards you, there appears to be an ancient <laughs> elf judge. Yeah. It is up to you whether or not you want to make your way to them. I mean, I'll pass by. I haven't done anything. <laughs> I haven't broken the law. Everyone here is free to go. Also, calling it stupid made her silent for the rest of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I didn't call her stupid. I called the whole thing stupid. You see Ancient Elf Judge. He looks beyond you. You see, once again, as he looks beyond you, there is somebody peeking in your direction. <laughs> as you see the goddess of the third eye over there as well. He looks back to you guys. So we're missing a door. Turns out that little pink thing actually could just leave at any time. We guessed that from about half of the prisoners here, but... No, no, that one could actually just break out. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's literally the strongest th being in this place. There was a magic seal over that door, so I am inclined to believe you. It shot a star out of its mouth. <sighs> it seems to be comfortable in its cell, so keep up the good work with that then. <laughs> oh, according to your logic, though, that the star power is really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a point. <laughs> Rago, can you hold this car for me? <laughs> you hand off Jacqueline's card to the rock. <laughs> so, what do you know about Paranormal? <laughs> <laughs> she just throws it back at you. <laughs> <laughs> You see Ancient Elf Judge look to you guys as he does. The prisoner stayed behind, and the only one that made their way through to the ritual site was that bird. So I am not mad. We can easily fix it. That being said, you have scared the goddess. Motions over toward the, the lady behind all of you. Oh, there she oh. is. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hi. You say hi, they duck back a bit. <laughs> Sorry! Oh, have you done something new with your hair? <laughs> How do you see that for me? You got some good eyesight. It's very good. Oh. Unfortunately, I don't have the nine lives. The goddess is the one who performs the ritual that would allow anyone to pass by the entryway or the exit in your case of the uh, black forest i will say it will now be potentially difficult for you to uh, have her trust you enough to stay inside of a ritual circle with her so i would suggest visitor from another world that you would bring her back something that she would like Sure thing. Is there like anything specific that she likes? I don't. She like it the flowers. Um, well, ritual thing images. Flowers would be interesting. Um, magic would be something she would be interested in. However, we did gain word from some of our visitors. Motions over toward where um uh, uh where the where Gale would be, uh as well as back down toward where the prisons are, that. A certain individual has made their way up from the underworld as well, who has relation to our goddess. 
From what I understand, they had disappeared around the casino as well. If you find someone who has the same or similar visage as our goddess, perhaps you would give them aid? Yep, sure thing. I can do that. Be careful. I do not know how the time in the underworld has changed them. They could be difficult to work with. However, they could also be very interesting. They have very strong powers, these two. One has the power to bring anything into uh, understanding and cohabitation with another. Motions for the goddess. The other, potentially even the way a way to grant powerful boons and wishes. And the other one got banned in Edison, Zona. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you understand that they are a somewhat dangerous individual. I will take that and I, I'll memorize that. And by that he means he'll flip a coin. I will memorize <laughs> it. <laughs> be sure to be careful on your way. I will oh. attempt to fix the uh, cells. I will also debate on whether or not they are even needed at this point. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like they could have just walked up. It's just, I don't like. I don't. I don't want to intrude on the way you're doing things. But that that guy literally just ate the cell. I feel that with what you have just done and the miracle that has appeared in front of our goddess, she may be more inclined to make a few changes. I will not promise anything, but she may very well wish to appease those that she does not understand any longer. She is very frightened. I I understand. I'm sorry. This no, is it's not a problem on my part. It, Try to try to do something yeah, for her. Uh, she will be. Yeah, yeah. Don't. I. Yes. I'll look for something. I'll do that. I'll. I'll, She's very I'll sensitive. figure. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I. <laughs> and you're not. <laughs> As he steps out of the way, he allows you guys to leave. <laughs> Let's walk. <laughs> go, 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 go. I just remember why I'm locked up. Go, go, go. Hey, wait a minute. No. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> As you guys go to leave, you guys will find your ways leaving the large chapel into the uh, area, the campsite area uh, just ahead of you. As you do, we have actually done quite a lot today. Yeah. So uh, I didn't expect all kinds of things to be settled in there, but that's kind of funny. Uh, I can't wait for the party to, uh, for the other party to maybe see Park. That might be interesting. Um, <laughs> we just baptized them. <laughs> Listen, here's how I imagine it should happen. We're walking towards the pyramid. Suddenly, Park is in our party as we remember what happened. That Park suddenly appeared, and we brought him with us because we didn't know who he was, and he wouldn't talk. You guys find. I think that's I think it's it's good for a for an ending cutscene actually. You guys find as all of you were around here getting ready to make your way, some of you would uh would use the uh, would use the rather nice amenities that they do have. I mean for the for the eclipse, this place is pretty fucking neat. It's pretty pretty neat apartment. Uh, as you guys are given a little bit of a tour by Angelo, uh you guys make your way into his workroom, uh which is off to the side here. You see him beginning to uh, let's see here, but let's see here, Tally. I think I got us a couple of uh, a couple of ways to get inside the the place now. How many? How many we need? We need uh we need uh five passes for you got for you lot. That uh, depends on who all wants to go in. Uh... It's not a problem, not a problem, baby. Hold on, I'm... as he says that, you guys hear a crash from the other room. Yeah. As you guys <laughs> go huh? into the other room, you see what appears to be a man. <laughs> Sitting on the counter. <laughs> oh come on! We send him cool cards, and he gives up. Gives us back a dude. <laughs> Hold on a second. Is Hold that... on, where's it at? I I I I don't know where he went. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh... Art disappeared. Is that? Is that? 
Yeah, that's rude really shimer of pastel wine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. The fucking course you would. <laughs> where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where did you throw him? He's on the ground. I'm getting him. You guys see <laughs> what appears to be a man's covered in wine sitting on a table, a bottle of wine in his hand, and a broken bottle of wine under his ass. The broken bottle of wine seemingly soaking two pieces of paper also under his ass. <laughs> and I think that's a good time for us to end things off. As you just hear, as Angelo looks, looks in, sees this. So six then, all right. <laughs> I don't ask questions here, baby. <laughs> also, Dico. What's up? I think it's actually perfect time to use the buddy suit out. <laughs> oh, def oh, maybe. <laughs> oh, no. Why? Uh -oh. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> out of any arcs you could say right now, I don't think it's the good idea. I'm going to pee now. I, you... <laughs> I don't want to think about that. But yes, I'm just saying <laughs> you guys broke a, a a bottle of wine that was in the negatives for its year However, it's fine. Park's also holding one Yeah, that's true Angelo's gonna go over oh, and be right. like, oh, this is a wonderful payment for ruining my carpet, baby. Thank you <laughs> <laughs> And I see you brought I mean, my cheese back <laughs> Wait, what carpet? This is the kitchen. It's tile. Look at it. Shut up <laughs> Oh, hold on they about left the tile. There's... How about you shut up there, Tally? <laughs> they left the tile. There's actually carpet underneath, and the tile was uh, covering the rug. I, d I think it'd be funny if the last shot is just like as he's getting up, getting the, the bottle taken out of his hands and stuff. Uh, Kate just like looks over, sees the two notes covered in wine on the ground, and one of them just says in big bold letters, Beware the giant rat. <laughs> My goodness. Like, I must yeah. call my grandmama. <laughs> As your grandma goes, there's a lot of things I've told you, but remember this one. Beware the giant rat. Even if you go to Egypt, just beware the rat, okay? <laughs> we need... I need to know what the fuck this rat did. <laughs> I need to know now. Oh my god. You don't need to know, okay? I Listen, must know. Knowledge may be power, but in this case, it's better not. We knowledge are gonna be we are gonna be following this this group for for quite a little bit. We're gonna be following the um, uh, the the dual spirit group for a little for a little while. Uh, so I hope everybody everybody is having having fun with them. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we got. To, I'm glad we. I'm glad we. Uh, we got rid of Park, so I didn't have to worry about having Park fucking the entire time and having you guys have to deal with him. One thing I find <laughs> really funny is Emerald's character. Like, oh, I hope I'm not seen. Me, 5D chess. I'm doing this so I'm not seen. <laughs> not. It, it, it's, I'm mostly joking about not being seen because he knows. It. What are they gonna do? They, he was freed by the human. <laughs> They can't stop him at this point. You can't stop me. I already gave him my card. Well, I can disappear into his deck at any me. point. It disappears in a deck. Gregor just throws your card in the cell. <laughs> Get in there, boy. <laughs> I don't remember if I deserve to be in here. <laughs> uh, this is going to be fun. I think that Gregor never asked why anyone was in their cells. <laughs> I don't care, you're just gonna be serial killers. I need someone to protect me until I don't die. I also, I also love we got, to, we got to talk a little bit to, to Raw Girl. She's like, yeah, yeah that, place, that place was, was scary and I'm really and I'm really freaked out and everything's crazy right now. But like, you know, it wasn't like, it wasn't, it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. Worse things could have happened to me. And as long as you it protect really me, I'm sure like the eclipse, it could have been worse. And as long as you protect me, small man, I'm sure everything will be fine. <laughs> oh, I'll do everything for you, baby. I can't <laughs> wait to go outside. And then my character's like, ah, oh, the night sky, the stars. Oh, sorry. Let me translate for you this for 
for Gregor. The stupid <laughs> gas falls in the sky. That's when you, I that's believe when you, in stars. That's when you step out, Jacqueline, you look up. Oh, yes, the night sky and the stars. And then you see just the black smoke and ahead of you, like, ah. Uh. <laughs> can, <laughs> can, can somebody uh, move the smoke? You called it stupid. <laughs> you called it stupid. You didn't say anything about believing. Do you not believe in astrology? Do you not believe in no, stars? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, next you're gonna say blue eyes went to the moon. I mean, we believe in astrology. I was doing those horoscopes that didn't make me win more at the casino, so whatever. They, oh, te they, please, don't te eyes. they teach us astronomy, just not, astro just not astrology. Astrology, yeah. <laughs> the blue eyes did not go to the moon. That is a government conspiracy made by the people of the lower plains. <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense to the lower plane, not the higher plane. <laughs> it was a very weird era. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna, so, this is going to be interesting. I, I love all three of you guys. I, I can't wait to see how mm. these three characters uh, change a little bit. I'm also very happy that uh, the effects, for the most part, are, are decent effects that can work in uh, that can work in Gregor's deck. Whenever you guys had chose mm -hmm. your characters, I'd already made uh all the um, uh, all of the uh all the um, uh the characters so a couple of them actually don't immediately have certain effects that work with gregor like as you look at uh condemned maiden the the effect is is good but it isn't like something that is that is absolutely like needed for like a gregor deck right yeah uh but the other yet. two the other two were 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 dice rolls i'm like oh hell yeah and the other imagine. two i blacked out red dice roll in the deck and goes <laughs> I just imagine us finding celestial beings, each being like the astrology sun. Oh, I'm sorry, Aries. Gregor thinks you're stupid. I love that I can make myself as strong as a blue eye with my yeah. effect. Yeah, if, if you roll the six or pick six. And then the the Aries just looks at Gregor sadly. I guess I am stupid. I need to jump out though. I'll catch Be you guys. Free. Yeah, we're gonna end the recording right here anyway. So I hope everybody back home has a good time. We will see you guys next week for some more of this. Uh, and yeah, hopefully everybody has a good time. I had, had, had a great old time. Guys next week. See you guys next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Yeah, thanks for being here. Bye. 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 Bye.